Welcome to Not the MMA Holes. How's everyone doing on a Tuesday night? Hopefully it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. The day after Halloween. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. How is everyone's Halloweens? My Rangers won overtime. I see uh, Philly's taking over. Philly's winning over Houston. We'll take this, Philadelphia. Rangers beat you in overtime, 1-0. I know it's early in the season, but it's okay. It's, it's all I got right now. Um, let's go, Rangers. So, uh, yeah, how was everyone's holiday? Not holiday, Halloween. It's not a holiday. I, I feel Hall Halloween should be a holiday. All Hallows Eve, right? Is that what they call it? I feel Halloween should be a holiday. I think... It's kind of ridiculous that it's not like in certain areas, like people like go all out for Halloween, trick or treating, putting out candy, giving people sausage and peppers. Apparently that's what they do over here, which is kind of cool. I never really had that when I was a kid. I, I lived in New York, so <laughs> So sausage and peppers on the street. I mean, people love sausage and peppers, but it wasn't, <laughs> there weren't tables of chili and sausage and peppers and all crazy hot foods for the adults and beverages and booze. And I had a little Johnny Walker double black or well, Johnny Walker black I had yesterday. But, um, yeah, 
I guess that's what happens when you live in like a kind of small, smaller area. Everyone kind of gets together and does that kind of stuff. Does anyone else? <laughs> is anyone else's neighbors like that? I'm going around with Ellie. And this is like the first time Ellie can like hold the little pumpkin basket thingy to put the candy in. So it was cute. It was really cute. I had no idea what was going on. But we would walk up to doors and just try to figure out how to get the candy into her little basket. But, um... How much uh, of Ellie's candy did you guys tax her? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... We, we, we didn't go to many houses. We wound up hanging out at our neighbors. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it, like... Halloween kind of falls when she's going to have to go to bed. So maybe next year she could stay up a little bit later. But we did it while the sun was kind of setting. And uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool watching her. When she gets a little older, it's probably going to get crazy. It's going to be fun. But right now she's so tiny and she had a little Pebbles costume on. I was Fred Flintstone. Not by choice. It was just Jesse is like, be Fred Flintstone. So I was walking around in a caveman dress. Big, bright, orange caveman dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah but ellie was so cute it helped it softened the blow with little baby pebbles in my arms uh halloween is the day we wear masks to scare michael jackson and his thriller zombie buddies back into their graves i love halloween i do i love it even more here like in new york it was cool it was basically like kids trick-or-treat and then, you know, after the sun's been set for a little while, kids go home because the, the fucking eggs are going to fly. You know, that, that's what I remember as a kid. Like, don't stay out too late. You're going to get bombed. You're going to get shaving cream all over you. You get toilet paper thrown at you, you know. And I used to work late when I was delivering packages. And I had to make sure my fucking windows were shut because it, would, it was like a moving target. Eggs just flying at you. And, and eventually I was just like, come on, boys, let's go. You know. But here it's not like that. There are like kids that are way too old to be trick or treating, coming around for candy. When I was their age, we were just trying to get into trouble. So I'm actually glad that we're raising Ellie here, <laughs> not where I grew up. I'm glad that's the case. It's so weird though, I'm in shock. I feel like a fish out of water. We had our candy in a bowl in our house while we were hanging out at our neighbor's house. And um, we had a sign that said, take, please take two, something boo, please take two, you know, some stupid Halloween thing. And uh, the kids took two. <laughs> like, it's weird. In New York, that wouldn't happen. Like, we were watching these kids and we're like, oh, yeah, the, the, the candy's going to be gone now. And they all respectfully took, you know, one or two pieces of candy and, and moved on. So then at the end of the night, we had to tell people, just fucking fill your bags. We don't want all this candy. So people are like, oh, okay. But it's weird, man. It's weird. I wonder how long it's going to take before this neighborhood gets corrupted, too. It's just a matter of time. Like old neighborhoods, when they're kind of separated from all the craziness. The craziness finds it. And then that neighborhood trash. But um, yeah, it was cool. It was it was it was a nice turnout. It's one of the few um, <clears throat> times the times of the year where it's a lot of fun here. Yeah, they're dorks, man. Damn savage. Like they're really weird. These kids here. <clears throat> we went to the 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 supermarket today. We were gonna have a little barbecue, and this kid was at the register. He had the gayest mullet I've ever seen in my life. Three hundred dollars to replace entire side mirror. Side mirror, what I oh, you mean the like in the car, the fucking the mirrors on the side 300. It's actually pretty cheap, I would say. Is it just the mirror or is it the whole piece, the casing, too? Um, nah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of whites here, but it's, it's a mix. There is a mix, it's not complete like Pleasantville, it's close, like we're <laughs> it's close, but it's not like complete. We have we have mixtures. There, there's a park by us, and there's a basketball hoop, so black people are here, too. <laughs> I just find them by the basketball hoop. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it would be racist if I was making that up, but I'm not. It's actually the truth. So, yeah, there's, there's a mix. But um, the, uh, the kids, 
Yeah, they're dorky. They're very dorky. And there was this fucking white kid at the cash register. And the guy that was bagging it had these fucking earrings with spiders hanging off of his ears. Like, complete emo-looking kid. But the guy at the register had this th this mullet that was so homosexual. <laughs> and I'm just... Lo I can't stop looking at this kid's hair. You know? Like... I got, like, this generic dad thing going on right now. So, you know, I guess I'm a fucking... You know, dorky dad. But I was looking at this fucking kid's hair. And I was like... I just wanted to say something. Like, what... What's the look we're going for here? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what, what is going on? What is happening? What's on your head? And I saw like the shirt was written in blood. So it was either a band or fucking... I don't know. Dungeons and Dragons or something. I don't know. Or something from Hot Topic it looked like he was wearing. And then I got in the car and I, and I looked at Jess and I was like, I'm old. I'm so out of loop. I, <laughs> I'm so old and out of the loop. <laughs> I'm like, it's it's official. It is official. I I just don't get it. You know, I guess that's it. So yeah, the weird thing in our in our area is you have the jocks, which there's a lot of them, a lot of very athletic kids, and then you have the emo weirdos that dress very odd, like like wearing flannel pants constantly. I called the dealership and they said 515 to replace it. Local mechanic said, why the hell would you never get anything done? Unless you're under warranty. Don't even bother with the dealership. Go to fucking Joey in the mechanic shop down the block and hopefully wish for the best. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like David Bowie. It did look like something David Bowie would be rocking. I was like, what is that? I don't even know. Like, it wasn't really officially a mullet. And then I asked Jess. See, this is why Jess is such a good person and I'm just an asshole. I asked Jess, I'm like, did you see that kid at the register? And she's like, no. I'm like, how'd you not see the kid? Like, he's literally checking you out. Like, he's he's <laughs> taking your groceries, passing it over to the bad kid. You know, he takes your money. You're having an actual intera human interaction with this person. And, and how do you not notice the guy's hair? Like, I guess they just weren't. I don't know. What the fuck? Adolf Hitler gaming. <laughs> I don't know, like, but I, I, I'm just staring at this kid, and I was probably, I had the baby in my arms, and I'm just looking at him, like, what the fuck? And then I'm thinking, what if Ellie brings home, like, a guy like this? I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what? Oh, God. Oh, I have a funny story before this, too. So I'm outside in the front taking down the Halloween, Halloween decorations. We're so cheap that we have old Dollar Tree. Like, we are that family. Our decorations are old Dollar Tree. <laughs> decorations the, the shittiest Halloween decorations ever and I'm outside and I try I modify them like they have the spiders and then I'll, I'll take like fishing wire and I'll stab it in its ass and then hang them from the tree so it looks like they're kind of coming down from the tree so a little modification on the Dollar Tree stuff but I'm taking those down today and then my phone rings it was a New York number so I was like alright let me pick this up see what the hell this is about <laughs> and there's they <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, thank you. Is this, uh, Chris? Uh, yes. Um, I would like to, uh, talk to you about Life Alert, and you are in the age group for Life Alert, so we have a great deal going on. And I'm like, what? I'm like, wait, hold on a second. I'm like, is this the thing where I collapse to the floor, I press the button, and the ambulance shows up? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, I'm in the age demographic, and she's like, yeah, yeah, so, you know, we have a great deal for you. I'm like, I am I am so not interested in this right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack just from this conversation. Fucking life alert. <laughs> I was like, crap. And then piggybacked that into the grocery store experience today where I'm staring at this kid not understanding what's going on. And I said to Jesse, I'm like, I'm just old. Yeah, I've fallen and I can't get up. That's me. <laughs> yeah, the ARP. I, you know, I told Jess, I'm like, you know what? Let me hit that first. Like, that's at 50, right? So let me hit AARP and let it all collapse around me. Like, let then let it all happen. Get the phone call. That that music sucks, kids. You should listen to the. It's not like the old stuff. Like, I wanna, I wanna turn into that guy at 50, which I'm only five years away from. Fucking a. But today I turned into that guy. 
I literally just turned into that guy today. I'm in that age group. A life alert. So, so that's that. But I had a good Halloween. How was your Halloween? <laughs> how was your? How what did you guys do on Halloween? What did you dress up as? How did it go over there? You're a turtle who fell, <laughs> feel, uh, fell on its back. Do you say it only came for one thing? Uh, oh, so it's not a dollar anymore. When going to the dollar store, I annoy them every time with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not a dollar. Well, yeah, it's the Dollar Tree is not the Dollar Tree anymore. It's like the Dollar Fifty Tree, Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Sorry, excuse me, I got corrected. Dollar Twenty Five. Classic music sucks so bad. You know, yeah, and then last night, so this makes sense why this happened. We're standing outside in front of the neighbor's house. A kid shows up. He was like a teenager with a Biggie Smalls. Um, he had a Biggie Smalls shirt on. And I was like, fuck yeah. I, <laughs> my neighbor's like looking at me. I have my fucking, my glass of whiskey in my hand. I'm like, that's right, man. And he's looking at me. And I'm like, yeah, Biggie, man. I'm like, that's the way. You're giving, like, I have hope. I have hope right there. He's like, all right, yeah. He kind of like looked at and nodded at me. Just like, I got to get the fuck out of here. Give me my candy and get me out of here. And I looked at my neighbor. I was like, you know, there's hope in this world. This kid's wearing a Biggie shirt. You know, he's not listening to whatever the fuck, Takashi 69. So that happened on Halloween. Fast forward into the um, life alert call. So now it makes sense. I am that guy. My son as well as uh, 55 other random kids decide to wear Sonic the Hedgehog costumes. <laughs> I like when the kids all do it together. When the group goes from house to house, but they got the same theme. I'm, I, I feel like that's... That's impressive. I like the cohesiveness of the group. No matter what it is, whatever the hell the theme is, I don't care. You know, there's a lot of Dragon Ball Z things going around. And my neighbor's like, yeah, are you so cool, Mamoon cool? Like, <laughs> and this guy's got the dumb hair. And I'm looking at him like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm like, we interview these fighters. They know all about this Dragon Ball Z shit. I have no fucking idea. I, have, I am like completely clueless. Hence... The life alert guy. I guess I'm too old for Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. But he's like, you're... Like, my neighbor's like, yeah. He's like, you're Goku Shamu face. Like... <laughs> and he's, like, doing this move. And I'm like, am, is this re am I surrounded by retards or am I just really old? It's either one or the other. Are you... <laughs> Oh, fuck. I had this really bad joke, and I and I almost said it, but I was, I, I'm so proud of myself for not doing it. And I told Jesse, like my neighbor said, he didn't have a costume. And he actually looks like a certain character in a cartoon. I'm not going to say it in case he's watching. I don't think he does watch this, but in case you are watching, neighbor. I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but I came home and told Jesse. And I, I was proud of myself that I didn't say it, because the old me would have just flat out said it. <laughs> you're already in costume <laughs> like the old me would have just told him you're already in that costume you're that guy so I didn't do that I'm gonna play video games but I like to this is like my therapy session by the way we have a, a pin in the live chat if you'd like to donate to the show everything's going to God of War because I cannot wait November 9th I think it's coming out like very soon Couple days. God of War. The new I'm gonna subject you guys to that fucking nightmare of a game. We're gonna be stuck playing this thing for months and months. Oh, you know what? I'll tell one more story. Now that you got me here. I don't think did I tell you the parking <laughs> The pumpkin patch story. Just did I tell them that story? Well, I mean I, there's not really much information. It's just a fucking story. Did I tell you about the fight of the pumpkin patch? Let me know in the chat if I did. I might have. <laughs> I almost got into the fight, a fight at the pumpkin patch. Oh, my God. I don't remember if I told that story. I don't know if I should tell that story. Who the fuck gets into a fight at a pumpkin patch? Jesse's in shock. The baby's in the car. Yeah, I don't think I told you guys that one. Tom Brady's kids uh, dressed up as a football for Halloween just so he would spend more time with them. 
Uh, pumpkin patch, you versus a couple of Karen moms. No, nah, almost as bad. No, it was a teenage boy. <laughs> I was punched out of teenage boy. I was so mad. Which, what, what night was this? I remember I was like, it was during the day. Was it 280? Oh, yeah, it was 280. Yeah, I was beat up a fucking high school kid. Yeah, I'm going to try not to. I'll try not to. Do you want to talk about House of the Dragon before you go to bed? You sure? All right, hang out here. Talk to us for a little bit. Actually, why don't you chime in on... I want to get your side of the pumpkin patch story. <laughs> what? No, I won't correct you. I Just sit here. Just tell us... Tell your side. Your, all right, Jesse loves the pumpkin patch story. This is her favorite story. I, I got to say... The pumpkin patch. <laughs> UFC 280. You guys didn't know this, but after UFC 280, we had our biggest stream ever. A half a million views. We should be flying high, right? Let's go to the pumpkin patch with the family and everyone, get into a fight with a kid. Everyone was in a good mood. We were all happy, excited to go to the pumpkin patch. Ellie was happy. You know, like everything was just perfect. <laughs> we were a cute little family headed to the pumpkin patch, getting ready to take some pictures of our cute little girl and her cute little dress. <laughs> And lo and behold, we get into a packed parking lot. And I'm, when I say packed, there was no spots available. Let me tell it. So <laughs> we're driving. <laughs> Maybe I should tell it. We're driving around the corner and we see a guy getting ready to pull out. So Moss naturally stops behind the car, puts his blinker on to let everyone know that he's going to pull into this spot once this driver leaves. Well, he was also blocking traffic in the process, so he had to scoot up in front of that parking spot in order to let the rest of the traffic through while he was waiting for the spot. So he puts his reverse lights on and his blinker to let everyone know that he's going to back into this spot. And then this beautiful white Mercedes pulls up right <laughs> behind us with two teenagers in the front of it. The girl was driving and then there was a teenage boy in the passenger seat and they stop. And I look back and I'm like, Moss, they're going to pull into your spot. He's like, no, they won't. No, 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 they're going to pass. I'm like, no, I don't think you understand how it is here in Arizona. They're going to steal your spot. All right, let me take over. Okay. Let me take over here. But I knew they were going to steal the spot. Not only did they steal the spot, while my reverse lights are on, the blinker's on, I'm like, that's my spot. They start pulling in, and the girl that's driving is just laughing. Laughing at me on the way into the spot. They're like... <laughs> right into the spot. So I'm sitting there. <laughs> I'm fucking sitting there like like shaking, right? He was livid. And I look at Jess. I'll be right back. He goes, I'm going to get out. That was his words. <laughs> he looked right at me. And then I, and I just look at him and I'm like, oh, God, I know what's coming. And all he yeah. says is, I'm going to get out. And then he just gets out of the car. Yeah. So as I go walking over to the car, right? I, I the, uh, the beautiful Mercedes. Now I'm sitting in my fucking Hyundai, you know, <laughs> with the fucking MMA holes decal on the back, just white trash, just, you know, exhausted from fucking streaming eight hours, you know, doing that whole thing. So got his baby in the car. I got a Carnage shirt on. <laughs> I still have my Carnage shirt on. So I'm fucking, I, I trot around to the car, right? And as I walk around, the guy in the pa in the uh, passenger seat, the kid, the boyfriend of of uh, the uh, the girl driving, gets out with his fucking floppy Danny Duncan hair, right? And he's got a, a, like a like a suit on, with his but it's like half bucking, like unbuckled, and he's just trotting over to me like and just like gets he's in like, my face. He's like, "What's the problem? What's yeah, the problem?" Yeah, hold on, Jess. Can I tell the rest of the story now? I'm I, I'm in the zone right here. So he gets he gets in my fucking face, and he's telling me, "Yeah, what's the problem, man?" He's like, "Just just go." Ahead, go. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, go. And he goes, he goes, yeah, man. He's like, he's like, come on, you're gonna make. He's like, you're gonna make a real big deal about this. And I'm like, yeah, I am. I am gonna make a big deal about it. this. Is my fucking spot. And he's like, he's like, nah, man. It's not. It's not that big of a deal. And I'm like, yeah, it is. I'm like, yeah, it is. And he's like, we're just gonna take some pictures, you know, me and my girlfriend. We're gonna, it's it's homecoming, you know. We're just gonna take those pictures and with the sideways mouth. You know, when the fucking yuppie kids with the sideways mouth. It's all right. Yeah, you, know, you just got go. I'm like, no. I'm like, you're moving. And he's like, oh, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna fucking be like that, right? So now we're getting like nose to nose. Me and this fucking kid, right? We're nose to nose with each other. And I'm like, oh fuck, I'm gonna have to hit this kid. 
I have no choice. I have no choice, but so I'm fucking bowling up my hands. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready to hit this kid. And right when I'm like, like in that moment where I'm like, I guess I'm going to jail. <laughs> the girl's window rolls down. And she's like, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. And I'm looking and I, I look over and she's this Chinese girl and this and an elderly Chinese woman in the back seat. Please, please stop. And I see the woman in the back like <laughs> out like that. So now I'm looking, right? And I'm looking at this fucking kid and he's like like with his sideways face. I'm like, this kid's never been punched before. I have nothing to lose right now. I'm just gonna fucking hit him. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. If anything, he's gonna learn something today, right? And, <laughs> and, she, and they're they're begging me to stop. I look over at them, and now I feel this like massive weight on my shoulders, this guilt. I'm like, I can't fucking hit this kid now. So I looked at him. And I'm like, you guys gonna move? And she's like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna move. We're gonna move. So I was like, all right. <laughs> then I, I look at the kid, and <laughs> and he's like. I'm like, all right. He was so upset. He was that, so fucking mad. Yeah, that, that he had to <laughs> not be an asshole. So he trots over, this little schmuck. I'm saying the schmuck, he's, he was bigger than me. No, he, he wasn't. So he was taller, taller than me. I'm sorry, he was taller than me. He was a me. fucking toothpick, this Doesn't kid. matter. I was going to fucking, I was going to knock out a kid. I don't care. He, he trots over to his fucking, his passenger seat, right? I get in the car, and I'm like, they're moving. So they, they pull out. Right and 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 the girls like like apologetic. The mom's apologetic. The kids for, like this fucking. I just want to. I want to drag him out of the car by his Danny Duncan hair and bash his fucking head into the ground. Right. So he pulls out. I pull in, and as I pull in, the spot in front of me, the guy pulls out. So this guy, this girl, goes around, parks right in front of us, <laughs> right in front of us. So now I could do nothing. But laugh. I had to sit there and just fucking laugh because I'm like, you have to be kidding me. We go through all this and now you're just going to park right in front of me, right? So now I'm in there. I'm laughing. The the girl gets out. The mom gets out. It's like, ha ha. Like, everything's good. Everything's good. Right? And then the kid gets out of the car. Like, he fucking just sucked on the sourest tit. I have no idea. He just like, just walking out of the car with this stupid puss face. So they get out. I bring, and I told the kid too. I was like. He's like, we're just going to take pictures for homecoming, man. It's not that big a deal. He's like, it's going to take a couple of minutes. I'm like, bro, I got my baby in the car. We're going to take pictures at the pumpkin patch, I told him. I'm like, we're going to the pumpkin patch to take pictures. You're going to do homecoming <laughs> pictures. This is my spot. Anyway, so they park in the front. And then when we get out, I was like, okay, we got the stroller. We got the baby in the stroller. They prance off to get their pictures. And as I'm going around to the front of their car, I'm looking and then the New York came out of me. I was like, I got to take a picture. I got to take a picture of the license plate, the car, everything. Because I know what's going to happen. When I come back to my car, all my tires going to be slashed. The fucking pinstriping from his keys. Like, I, that's that's the first thing I thought of, right? And, and when I called my brother afterwards, he said the exact same. He's like, did you take a picture? So that's what I did. I took a bunch of pictures. That's a New York thing for sure. Cause... And I came back. There was nothing on the car. <laughs> it was fine. His car was gone. And he was literally there for five minutes. And... uh yeah, and then I was furious. As I, we were walking to the pumpkin patch, I, I kept reliving it. You ever get into a situation like that, like where something's about to go down, it's just the dumbest scenario in the world, you're all heated, it subsides, and then you just can't stop thinking about it? I'm walking, and the firemen are there taking pictures with kids and the yeah, policemen. Yeah, that's, that's the thing that got me. And they're, like, they're looking at me furious. This is a whole carnival, like a whole carnival going on. Like the pumpkin patch was within this carnival thing that was going on. So there were cops everywhere. And this literally occurred in front of a fucking truck full of fire police, fire, uh, firefighters and cops. Like, they were right there. They saw the whole thing. Like that's No, they didn't see the whole thing. They didn't. They did. They looked over when everything was happening. Yes. Really? Yes. That's why I told you when the oh, whole thing... Oh, is that why he went out? He, he says... When the whole thing went down <laughs> and, and you asked me what was going through my mind, I said, I thought for sure you were going to hit him and the cops were going to show up. They were watching? That they saw the whole thing. It was right in front oh of them. Oh, my God. That makes sense because we walked by the firemen. They the stared guy's like, right at us. The guy's like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, everything's fantastic. And I, I thought punched for sure, the fucking kid. I'm like sitting in the car listening to this whole thing go down and I don't know what to do. I've got my baby in the car. Like, I'm not getting out of the car. So I'm just, like, sitting there like, oh, my God, the cops are going to show up. We're, Chris is going to get arrested. I'm going to have to drive home with Ellie by myself. Like, this is going to be, like, a whole thing. Like, I thought for sure it was going to turn a, into... It's such a ridiculous... 
such a ridiculous, and it doesn't matter what age he was, whether he was a kid, whether he was elderly. Like, people say, I'm going to be honest with you, people say Connor punching a guy in a bar, I don't give a fuck how old you are. You could be an infant. You, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. If you say something or disrespect me in public, you're going to get hit. It's going to happen. Like, if you do something in a way, right, and 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 you, like, it gets to that point where it's like, okay, I said what I said, you said what you said. This is not going to work. You get, you're getting hit. Like, it, it, it's it's inevitable. It's going to fucking happen. So I don't give a fuck how old you are. Like, I am not going to sit there in front of my daughter, in front of my wife, and just have some fucking chick just laughing her way into this. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And I told Jess, I was like, if the kid never came out of the car, I would have never, I probably wouldn't even gotten that mad. You know? Because they could have said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. And lied to me. And what am I going to do? But the kid came out and stepped to me. So I was like, okay. <laughs> it's on. I win. Like I, I, I'm like, I immediately win here. This kid comes out. He knows he's wrong. He wouldn't have came out if he didn't know he was wrong. You know? So he kind of admitted guilt coming out of the car. If he didn't, I was kind of fucked. I was the idiot. You know? I was the idiot in that situation. But regardless, probably a dumb move. I, I, it's crazy. You know I said to Jess, too? I'm like, man. I'm like, this kid... He's never been in this situation. This has never happened to him. A lot of kids these days are not like yes. reprimanded in that way. Just entitled. Super chat. Just an entitled snot. Smiley face. Damn, bro, don't do it, dog. It's not worth jail. <laughs> I know. It's not. It's not. You think I would have you know got arrested for if him? I popped him? Well, I, I think if he pressed assault charges, you would have. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what <laughs> I told him? What, what I told Chris was... Like he was a teenage boy once. I think like everybody remembers when. Yeah, you know, I probably, everyone I probably here would have been in the an chat asshole. probably remembers when they were teenage boys. Like you guys thought you were invincible and you could take on anyone, and you were tough shit, and all that. So like that's probably what was going through this kid's head. It had nothing to do with the fact that like it had, it had nothing to do with the spot. He wanted this this situation. He wanted to feel antagonized so that he could step up to someone and, and feel like he's tough. Yeah, shit. Yeah, he wanted to look girlfriend. cool in front of his girlfriend. There was nothing about what I did wanting to look cool. Like, I was willing for all the consequences. I didn't give a fuck. Because I was like, that's our spot. I have a baby in the car. We, we're going to take pictures. I was waiting there. He fucking blatantly cuts me off. He laughs at me in front of my kid. That's it. You're done. That's it. <laughs> that's it. I mean, it's not going to... It's just a disrespect, right? So, here's the thing. When I was a kid, I, I did shit... I probably did disrespectful stuff. Sure. Absolutely. I think but, every teenage boy has, has... Not entitled. I was never, I don't know. never entitled because you I never, never felt had that. Entitled? No, no, never. In a situation where never. you, you could ask more my parents. Than other people, you could ask my parents. I was never entitled ever because we didn't have anything. No, I'm we saying had nothing. I'm saying you never put yourself in a situation where you felt you deserved more than someone else. If I was right in the situation, yes. So that's entitlement. No, if he was right though. You were right. No, no, no. Hold on a second. I would first of all, if I were to get into a fight with someone, it's because someone pushed me always. Always, if someone pushed, if someone hit someone in one of my on friends, perception. anytime I've gotten into a fight or almost gotten into a fight, it was because someone else started. You know what I'm saying? Now maybe Again, I would have said that's something. All based on perception. Yeah, but but here's the here's the deal. I'm saying start like physically starting, right? That that's that's the only time I've really gotten in myself into situations or something like that. But or if someone was threatening in some sort of way, you know, that was just completely wrong. Never because I thought I was higher than someone in society. This kid was driving a Mercedes. Old prissy with his suit on, coming out and saying, you know what? You and your fucking Hyundai, this spot is not for you. This is mine. I'm a little higher in society. Never in my life, in my life, was I like that. And I never will be like that. And I hope Ellie will be the same way. Never feel entitled because, he, I mean, I never had that. You know, and even if I did have that, I would hope that my parents would instill in me, don't be a fucking cunt. Yeah. That kid was a cunt. This generation is like filled with those cunts. Don't, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, man, those cunts are going to fucking see their day. It's going to happen. No matter what, it's inevitable. They're going to run into that guy, the guy in the Hyundai with the carnage shirt on, that's not going to fucking take it. It's just going to happen. It doesn't matter what the age is. You Entitled people need to be terminated. We need to be wiped off this fucking earth. It's ridiculous. Wipe them out. They're fucking, they're just, they're, what's wrong with everything? Wonderful, wonderful. Get him out of here. We got to talk about the dead poodle hairstyle that all these young homos wear these yeah. days. What is that? I don't think they understand that Jake and Logan sport it because they're boarding. 
Moss told us his Dragon Ball Gen Z story. You should have decked him, Moss. <laughs> yeah, you didn't notice the guy at the uh, the grocery store, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. By the way, those donos, those two donations are going towards God of War. Thank you very much for your donations. Let's get that God of War. Let's go, baby. Yeah, what is up with those hairdos? But Jess, Jess said that even her generation, kids had the poodle hairdo, right? Like that kid, at, you didn't no, recognize, the, you didn't un, like see the kid's hair, apparently. How did you not see? Like, I don't understand this. I study everybody. Like, when I interact. I do too, but when I'm in the middle of doing something, like I was loading all the groceries onto the belt. Like, the, the last thing I'm worrying about is what the kid's hair looked like. But you paid him. Like. No, I just, I did it through the, um, the card reader. You never looked no. at the guy that's working there? No. God. I like size everybody up. Yeah, her generation, if you think about it. She's like... I'm 26, kind of. She's fucking though. half my age. <laughs> and she is 26. She's half my age. It's a, it's, a, it's a very big difference in generations, for sure. She grew up in a way different time. But, um, yeah, it's weird. I, I don't know. So how are you guys? But I, I think because I stare men, at everybody. men size people up. Women don't size each other up. I need to know everyone that's around me. Like, I, no, I don't know. No, same. Like, I am very observant of my surroundings. But if it's a fucking um, cashier, I don't give a shit. I'm more observant of, like, other people who I feel could be more... So let me ask you a question. Like, God forbid, like, you looked at the receipt and said, oh, shit, I was overcharged for something or something happened. That's different. Then and you I had obviously... to go back there and, and, you know, you wanted to see which cashier it was or anything like that or... No, you know, like, you I took, know. like, a quick glance. Like, I would know who it was. But, like, I, I didn't look long enough to stare at his hair. Hmm. You know? Yeah. But I, I know really... I know I can't be doing shit like that. I can't be starting fights at Pumpkin Patch. <laughs> I know it's wrong. It's not a good example. But in the other side of things, I, I told Jess, I'm like, I, I just don't, you don't want to be disrespect. You don't want to show your daughter that you could just be walked all over. You know, I understand you should pick and choose your battles, which I probably should have. That was like, that's that anger that sits inside of me that I keep, I keep so fucking hidden. Like, it's stuck in there. Like, I don't let it out. Like, Jesse hasn't... That's probably the first time she's ever seen that, right? Have you ever seen that no, side of me? No, I, I have... Se well, no, I've seen that side of you, but not with other people. Like, I've not seen it with, like, in public. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. No, if I'm angry with you, that's not that side. Well, that's a whole different person. I've if I'm angry seen... at you, it's fr frustration. Like, just like, ah, shut up. You know, but, but if I'm mad, no, that is... I would never want to hate you. I've, like, that's... I've seen... A very rare, raw oh side of you. Before. All right, get off the mic. Get out of here. Well, why would you ask me, me if you don't want the answer? You're making me nauseous. You haven't seen that side. That side that was in the I've parking lot. I've seen that side. I got to be honest with you. I've been, I've been so mad at you, but I've never been mad at you enough where I want sometimes to fucking hate you. Sometimes I think people don't remember how they seem in anger. Like sometimes I think people, like, um, or sometimes people think things happen that don't. Because I don't honestly, know what, what you're trying to... You asked me a question. I'm just answering I, it for you. I, I wanted to hit the kid. Like, I legit want... I actually was balling up my hand to fucking take that kid out. Like, mm -hmm. I was actually thinking about that. Like, when am I... I could have been so... There is... Like, it would take... You would have to stab Ellie in the face before I would want to fucking crack you. You know? Like, I have intrusive thoughts, but I never said, Okay, now's the time. Here we go. I'm going to jail. Like, that's never happened. I've been fucking furious at you. I've been frustrated at you. Like right, I'd say, I'm just I want to ring your this neck. One alone. Holy fuck! What is up with women? That's what is nice. up with women? Like, why do you guys like? Why I don't are you, know, you so guys... defensive about it? If because it's not, if it's untrue to you, then why? It's what? just weird, though. I don't know. It's it's weird, but you guys see, like, we have completely we think so differently. It's ridiculous. You know? Okay. Yeah, maybe I should hit you. Should I just hit you? I should pop you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe should I, guys? What do you, what do you think? Uh, the kid's close to Jesse's age. Uh, maybe because you're egotistical, dude, bro. Burn, bro. You got me, man. You've been trying all stream. You hurt my feelings. I'm gonna go cry. Guido, uh, you can always bury uh, uh, Kia. If it's not one thing, it's a mother. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh. Ego is a man's worst enemy, Moss. Yeah. Yeah. But in the situation with this kid, respect. You know? Like, I don't know how to explain this. 
Like a lot of people could just be walked all over. I'm not one of them. Like I, I pick and choose my battles for the most part, but there are certain times where I just can't, you know. Uh, dude. He's goading you, Mom. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> How did I get so into your head? Adolf Hitler Gaming. How do, is it because I actually complimented your uh, witty name in the chat? Did it offend you? Because it was like, damn, I didn't piss him off. How did it, like, explain the moment where I got into your head? Uh, you never allow someone to disrespect blatantly. Yeah, you don't. You, you, you just can't. Here's the thing. Like, if you are a man, you, you just have to understand. Like, you can't be that guy. Like, oh, well, he took my spot. He laughed at us. I mean, I know that the, probably the mature thing is to just keep going. Keep the car keep the car moving. Let it happen. But my, my fear is like when Ellie gets older. I don't want her to get in fights, fights in parking lots. But I just I don't want her to be walked all over. You know? I don't. You didn't answer my question, Adolf. I would like you to answer my question. How did I get into your head? He never got a, he never got arrested. What are you talking about, Adolf? I don't know. He's, he I, never I got, got him. arrested. Hold on, I got him where I want him. Hold on, let me have let me have let me play with my food here. I've had uh, my fair share of those moments, and uh, the amount of chaos involved is not worth it, especially with the family there. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been pretty good. I have to say, since I've been with Jess, I haven't. Like, I used to get road rage. I haven't had one bit of road rage with Jess. I haven't had, um, I've been, I had an accident when I was with Jess and I shocked myself. Usually when, when I get into an accident and someone else is wrong in that accident, I literally want to kill them. Like I, I feel like car accidents are the dumbest thing in the world. Like how do people just drive into other people? Like I, and I, I usually have this rage. I had this rage once where this woman hit me. She totaled my car, right? And my car fucking spun around and it was just stuck. It was right after work and I'm sitting in it, smoking, can't drive it anymore. And this girl fucking goes down the block. Now, I didn't know a girl was in the car. I didn't know who the fuck was in the car. All I know is this fucking car tried to kill me, right? They blew a stop sign and they fucking bash right into me. Car. So I get out of the car, right? And I'm looking, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, all I wanted to do, it was Friday night. I just wanted to go home. I wanted to hang out, have some fun, wind down from my job. I'm working 12-hour days. This fucking idiot blows the stop sign and just destroys my car. So I got out of the car and I started running it. <laughs> right. I fucking booked it right down the block after this person in the car that was sideways himself with their bumper hanging off. And I'm fucking going. Like the fucking, like the, the Terminator. What was the evil Terminator? The liquid guy? I was like that. <laughs> Running down the block. And all I see is the brake light. And then <laughs> they take off. And the fucking bumper is dragging. Sparking right down the block. I don't block. know why you were running after them, though. You've never been in that situation. But like. I want to kill you, them. Well, you scared no, they them. were going to die. scared them I know, off. I know, I know, I know. I know that. That I know. But you, if you, you won't understand unless you're in that situation. You would never understand. That person almost killed me. So I was about to kill them. <laughs> like, I was about to drag them out of the car That's not and fuck them up. Or just at least at least get my money's worth of tongue lashing. Like, anything. I don't know. I was, I was seeing red. 12-hour day. You're getting ready to go home. It's a Friday night. You're fucking miserable. My body was just filled with sweat and dirt from fucking delivering packages all goddamn day. In and out of trucks, up and down stairs. Just exhausted. And this, this fucking asshole smashed... Now, now, I didn't know it was a woman. I had no idea. So I, t, I fucking... Was it the T-100? T-1000? was it called? And I'm fucking d darting down the block. <laughs> that car takes off and goes... <laughs> I didn't get the license plate. Nothing. They just fucking take off. And now I'm like huffing. I'm like, well, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. And they took off. And I turn around and I see my fucking car just smashed into an accordion down the block. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, this sucks. Guess I got to call the police. So I called the police and I'm just miserable. I'm like, great. I don't have a plate. got nothing. I call the police and I'm sitting there like, fuck. And this pickup truck pulls up and I'm like, we got the plate. I'm like, what? And I'm like, yeah, we got the plate. She kept going. I'm like, she? And he's like, yeah, yeah. She just, she, she wanted no part of anybody. She just beelined it wherever the hell she was going. But we got her number. 
So I was like, fuck yeah. So I got the number, the plate number. I gave it to the cops. And my, my pop shows up. We're all there. And um, I told the cops, I'm like, um, can I get some information on this girl? <laughs> and they're like, we can't give you that. And I was like, well, I got a cousin that's a police officer. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not going to do anything. Just, you know, can I get some information? Because I, I want to know her information so I can go to my insurance. So the stupid cops gave me the information. <laughs> so I get my pop's car. Did you ever hear the story? Mm -hmm. I got my pop's car. And I looked at my dad. I'm like, you want to go? And he's like, where? And I'm like, to her house. <laughs> and my dad's like, no, no. I'm like, can we please go? I need to find out why this girl tried to kill me. So my dad took me. My dad took me to the girl's house. I'll never forget. 69th Street and... Uh, um, what was that? What was that street? Regardless of the fact, I don't know. It was in it was in Queens, and we showed up. <laughs> we showed up at the house, and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do here? I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to give her a piece of my mind. So I rang the doorbell. She pops her head out the window, and I was like, hey, do you drive a so and so? Is that your car over there? You know, and she's like, yeah. Well, what's going on? Who are you? I'm like, ah, oh, no, I just wanted to know. Is that your car? And she's like, yeah, it's my car. I'm like, I'm the fucking guy you hit. I'm the guy. I am the guy that you fucking smashed the car. I'm like, what were you doing? And she just fucking slams the window. <laughs> and then my dad's like, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> so then we get in the car. We go home. I don't know what I was thinking. That I, maybe I was going to drag her out of the fucking house. And, and I don't know. Rub her nose in it. I like don't know a, what you're thinking half the time in these situations either. Well, I was young then. Then I was young. Then I was young. Red. I had a, go a cop... Give me, um, I've had a lot of, I have, I could go on and on about these stories. I had, I was driving one day and a cop pulls me over and he gives me a ticket for being on the phone. I wasn't on the phone, but he gave me a ticket anyway for being on the phone. Now, back then I had cars with decal. I still have a decal in my car, but I had cars that had the look of being a younger man's car. Maybe a problem kid's car. I did nothing wrong. The cop told me I had my phone in my hand uh, by my ear, and when I saw him, I threw it on the fucking seat next to me. It was on the seat next to me. Never was in my hand. No, no, text no texting, nothing. And it was a young hotshot cop that I guess wanted to give me a ticket. So he gives me the ticket, and I'm just like giving him a piece of my mind, telling him, I'm like, check my phone. Check the history. Check all this shit. I, I did not talk to anybody. Doesn't matter. I saw you fucking on the phone and threw it. So he gives me the ticket. I go home. My ex was there at the time. And I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I told her to take me back to the cop. <laughs> we got in the car. What she, is it with you wanting to go back she, for Because like I need vengeance. to get it out. I need to get my money's worth, right? And yeah. But we, to we, a cop? We went looking for the cop. Yeah, we did. Like we you have the inability to let things go. Like you just like have well, to. Well, now I do. Now I have more. Like the pumpkin patch was... was a throwback. I, I usually can control it pretty well. But I have this thing like, no. What about the traffic cop? When I, when I was giving her a piece of my mind, when she gave me the fucking, you know, the, the double park ticket when I said I was going to move. She gave me the ticket anyway, so I told her, I was like, okay, I'm going to get this ticket. It's like Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm double parked, blinkers on. I said, I'm in the car. I'll move. No, nope, no, nope, you're not supposed to be here. So it's writing up the ticket. It's like, all right, I'm going to get my money's worth. So I'm like, you could fucking sleep at night. You could sleep at night giving these fucking but I tickets. I just don't understand. I'm trying to understand, like, what does that get you? Money's worth. But what? What is your money's peace worth? Peace of mind. Like? How does that give you peace of mind? It gives me peace of mind. That's what it does for me. That's so juvenile. Oh, my God. I don't understand, like, of course where it's juvenile. the peace of mind comes from. That's why it's a story. It is juvenile. I'm not saying it isn't. But in my head, in my head, I feel like, all right, I'm in this problem. Let me get my money's worth. And when I was younger, when I was even younger, my theory was, all right, let me get my money's worth. <laughs> like, it turned into that. Now, as I got older, I navigated around fighting. Like, I didn't really do that, but I got my vocal opinion out. I always had to, I don't know, how to get my, I don't know, how to get it out. You know? I am human, Sober Carl, I know. That's but, not an excuse. But you know what, like, 
Jesse hasn't. She hasn't been to bars. She hasn't been That's like in the, these situations. That, that has nothing to. Musk, no, but I'm saying it has to do with a person and I a understand. personality. It has nothing to do with your experiences. Okay, can I explain the difference? I have been in scenarios that you've never been in. So for you to criticize, <laughs> I'm have, not criticizing have, okay, you. Have all you ever I said, had? Hold on. All I said was I'm trying to understand. I'm not criticizing you. I know. I know. I know it's wrong. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not bragging about it. In fact, I'm fucking embarrassed about this shit. Like it's I mean, happened. It does sound a little bit it's like you're flawed, gloating about it. No, it's a flawed thing inside my fucking mind. And here it is. Now it's only a story. So I tell the story, and I like to psychologically break down why the fuck do I go to that place? Like why? Why do I do it? And the only thing I could think of is I got to get my money's worth. You know, I'm telling. I promise you, if you were in this situation constantly. Constantly being in a situation where it's like, then you okay, would think fuck that off. Over time, you would have learned. Where did you grow? Forgive up? and forget. You grew up in in Illinois, right? Mm -hmm. And then you went to Arizona, right? Mm -hmm. And did you have situations in your life where you're where you were like put in a situation that you shouldn't have been in? A lot. Right? And and did you ever want to just fucking get it out? No, because I internalized everything. That's why I'm as react, reactive as I am today, because I internalized all of my horrible situations. I didn't... I didn't. So you just keep it cooped up? I kept it cooped up, and now fuck I'm that. a very reactive person. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, and that's why you are the way you are now. Yes. That's why you fire and snap. Yes. So me, if, I'm my, if my back is against the wall, and I'm done wrong in the situation, you're, you're going to hear it. Either you're going to hear it or feel it. There's one way you're going to get it. You're going to get it. That, that's how I am. And you know what? It could backfire. And it has backfired for yeah, me many I just times. Don't, I just don't see what you really get out of it. Like, have you ever gotten your ass beaten in the street? Uh, well, I have gotten beat up. Not in the street, but I yeah. have been beat up. Yes. Yeah. It's fun in the street when everyone's watching. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> when your friends are sidelining, you know, and they're like, oh, I can't do anything. Just get beat up. You know, that's fun. I mean, it was never like anything like that. Yeah. But That's fun. But, um... Yeah, so here's the thing. You're never going to understand. Like me, I probably won't understand any of your situations because I probably wasn't in your situation, right? Well, so I, I can't criticize or... Understand. I don't expect... I, I, I understand that like you can't understand someone else's situation. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But you can try to understand like their thought process behind the actions that they chose to take. Yeah, so I feel like my situations are learning experiences. And I'm still learning because I'm at the pumpkin patch wanting to punch a fucking kid. I'm still, I'm still learning. It's anger. It's you know what? It's like it's why I can relate to guys like Bill Burr so much. I'm very similar. Like like he wants to fucking lose his mind every five seconds. I can control no, it better. No, but he's super reactive. You're not a very reactive. No, person. I can I can control it way better. I can. But there gets moment. There is moments where that fucking old part of me just seeps back out, and there's nothing I could do. It's like berserko mode. And thank God, see, Jesse did the right thing. She didn't get in the way. If she would have gotten in the way well, I knew at the better. pumpkin patch. I think, I think most women <laughs> probably would have gotten in the way, but I know you, so I think that's where I had the advantage. Had I not known you as a person and what would have happened if I had stepped in, then, you know, obviously, I think any other woman would probably have stepped in. I have a theory. I know why you didn't step in. I didn't step in because I know you. Okay. This is why I think you didn't step in. Okay? Now, hear me out. A lot of situations... If you know I'm going to go to that place, you would probably step in, right? But in this situation, um, no. in particular situation, though, in this particular, you knew I was in the right. Like, you knew that this person was being a complete asshole. If and you were a little bit horny when you saw me get out of that car. No matter who was in that car, <laughs> there was a part of you that couldn't wait to tell your fucking mom, couldn't wait to tell other people well, because there's a part the of fact, you. Yeah, the, after the fact, I thought that was like a really like manly and attractive See? thing to do. But that was after the fact. I knew and it. In the midst of it, I Do didn't it. want you to do it because I, th I, all I was thinking about was all the consequences that could come of this. I understand. I'm not saying you wanted me to do that, but the reason why you didn't step in is because no, it was that primal reason... instinct of man protects family and goes out. And you were like, I should say something here, okay. but I'm not going to. Listen. She the, was surging. The instinct was, <laughs> was there that like the man takes care of the family. Like that instinct was there. That's but, why you kind of stayed aside. But I've never had an issue of stepping up to people and saying, my, speaking my mind. I've never had that issue. The I never, I'm not I, saying that. The reason I didn't step up is because I knew that I was right. That that seeing you in that situation 
the best thing for me to do was to stay back because yeah. had I stepped in, it could have elevated to a, a situation beyond control. Yeah. And the worst thing a woman could ever do is get between a guy and his anger. You, you can't do it. Like if a guy is trying to protect his nest and his fucking wife steps in front, girl steps in front, dude. And you get, have to remember, <laughs> I had not my, good. my daughter in the car too. Yeah. What, what was I going to do? Step out and leave her in a, in a running car? What, what, to, to what? Step? No, in not step out. Stop me from getting out of the car, I was saying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, no, I wouldn't have stopped. I knew, I saw it in your eyes. Like, I knew you were, I, no, there was nothing I was going to be able to do to stop you. Yeah. So I just, you know, whatever. Now, keep in mind, I didn't even know who was in that car. I saw a girl driving, and I, my intentions wasn't, I'm going to beat up that fucking girl. That, that's not the intention. The intention was, get out of my way. This is my spot, right? That was, that was the motive. But when Jerkoff came out of the side... You know, and then got in my face. It turned into something completely different. No way did I want to say, okay, I'm going to beat everyone up in the car. That wasn't the intention. And when I got out, you knew I was mad, but you didn't think I was going to get face to face with think, somebody. I didn't think that it was ever going to escalate to like a physical altercation until he stepped into your face. Exactly. And I saw your shoulders tense. And the moment I saw that, I was like, oh my God, he's going to hit him. That's what. That's the first thought that went to my head. And the second thought was, oh my God, the cops are going to show up. Yeah. So, so, so that's, that's the thing. That's a crucial part of the story. It wasn't like, oh, I'm a tough guy. I'm going to go beat up the guy in the car. No, yeah, that's I not. didn't get the feeling you were going to go out there. And that like wasn't, do that wasn't the, the motive. And that's why you let me get out as well. Yeah. You but know? once I saw it, then a panic, you know, went through me. I was like, fuck. <laughs> like I yeah. should have. Well, trust me. I didn't, I didn't say, hey, I'm having a beautiful day with my family at the pumpkin patch. Let me fight this kid in the car. Like, like, <laughs> well, thank God you didn't. That's what matters is you didn't like you wanted to, but you did not do anything. I'm telling you it would have happened with that. If that girl didn't fucking open her mouth and that's but why it's good that you didn't because did you see that girl's your face? daughter was there. She was watching you, you know, like you don't as a dad, you don't want to be. I know. You don't I'm glad I that. didn't. Trust me. I'm glad I didn't because it was the, it was a pretty dumb situation. It's pretty silly. Well, that was that story. All right, I'm gonna bounce. Wonderful. I'm wonderful. for no reason. <laughs> Doris Peck. Pumpkin patch rumble is up in meme department. <laughs> Arizona shall never be the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this neighborhood's a nice little neighborhood. And I'm fucking getting to arguments at a pumpkin patch. Thank you, Kainato. We're gonna get that God of War game. We're gonna play some video games tonight, too. I didn't, I didn't, I, f yeah, I didn't. I didn't think I was going to tell that story tonight, but we were telling stories, so might, might as well. Let me check this Discord out. The pumpkin patch. <laughs> it is it is ridiculous, though. It is stupid. Like, like I don't know what it is. Like, now I'm a lot better. May, the older me probably would have just swiftly hit the kid and then said, okay, who cares? But there is that part of me that doesn't want to do that. Like, I, want, I don't want to be walked all over, but at the same time, it's just like, ugh. You know, I, what do you do? I think it was the perfect storm, though. It was like I was I was just exhausted, and uh, I just wanted to go to bed. That long two eighty stream. When you when you stream in front of the like, we don't have lights on now. We're, we're doing a gaming stream, so that's why it's a shitty lighting. But um, when you when you do like an eight hour stream and you got fucking studio lights just blasting in your eyes, like it doesn't like I know we're just sitting around watching fights, talking shit. But like after a stream, my eyes feel like they're gonna like just fall out of my head. I got a headache, and, uh, and then I have to insert myself into the real world. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much. It's not far off. It's not. Far, ha, tell me stories that with you guys. Any fucking embarrassing, ridiculous stories of like aggression that there shouldn't be. I'm sure all of us have those stories. I thought I was done. I thought like I've passed that part of my life, but uh, clearly I'm just getting started. <laughs> this is pretty accurate. Thank you. Kind of this is good. Yeah, it was this tall, slender, young man <laughs> with the floopy hair, just acting all hard in front of his girlfriend, and then my old ass gets out with my carnage shirt on. Oh god, it's so ridiculous. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm late, but Mr. Q should apply for a carry-on permit. <laughs> Nowadays, everyone packing. Yeah. I got one. I'm in California. Arizona is much easier, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. We got some stuff. 
I think I might start driving around with it, to be honest. But then again, if I had it in the car, that might be bad. Yeah, I could. The guy could have fucking blew my head off. You know. Yeah, I got. I got to pull it together. I do. I have this like. This it, the anger's hidden. Like it's not. It's not like it doesn't come out much at all. It doesn't come out. I guess it was like the perfect storm that day. It was weird. <laughs> Shoot a team over a parking spot. I just get out and just fucking. Just fucking knock his head off. Yeah, that'd be bad. We need a higher teaching uh, to take us uh, out of a monkey's mind. He's in protecting his family from danger like Batman. That's for real. There's a lot of road rage in Arizona. A lot of bad road rage where people get shot all the time. So, yeah, I got I to gotta pull it together. Yeah, how do you get a permit in California? That's a good question. California, like... Roberto's the next came Velasquez. Arizona's a safe space. I tell you what, I, I do love this place, but you do have, you know, you do have your knuckleheads. Every place, you got your knuckleheads. Uh, road rage is making your passengers uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, so I stopped that. When I was younger, I used to swerve at people and fucking scream at them. I don't do that here. I know it's, you don't do that in Arizona. You can't be fucking having road rage in Arizona. You're, you're literally playing with your family's lives. So you can't do that. You shouldn't be getting into fights in parking lots. You shouldn't be doing that either. Roberto carries one with him. So how did you get the permit in, in California? It's actually a good question because I know Cali's a little tight with that stuff. It's about survival, slow poke. It's like, yeah, I, yeah, you don't, like, it's pretty simple. Getting a gun over here is no problem. That's, that's you know, that's the truth. You think uh, the Phillies win? Uh, they trash the city up like last time. I I mean, I never understood that. How do you celebrate by destroying your? I mean, unless you live in a real shitty city. Like I kind of get why they do it in California. I kind of get why they do it, you know. And and I get why they it, like with the BLM stuff in New York. Why they did it because they were like real shitty neighborhoods and maybe they need to be burnt yes. down. I don't know. Yo, YS, with the 50 Y. I want to play 500. poker with you. I you won't want? watch the stream, don't worry. Winking face. <laughs> well, if, if I do jump in the poker, I was going to play a quick hockey game, but um, all right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a... I've been fucking yapping so much. I'll play a quick hockey. Unless you want to just fucking chat, I don't know. Do you want to play poker and chat? All right, let me know. Hockey or poker? By the way, thank you for the donation that will go towards the God of War game that's coming out November 9th. We're getting closer and closer to the God of War game drop, and so I do appreciate those donations. I will put it right back into that glorious game of Carnage. If he swung on you, what you have done, Muay Thai... You know, I was thinking about that, and I'm like, I, listen, there's no technique. <laughs> there's no technique with me. I probably, as soon as I would have seen him flinch, I probably would just try to hit him first. I think that's that was the plan. You know? Like, as soon as I saw him get that, any sort of movement where it implied that he was going to swing at me, I think I was going to let him go first. Like, like I was going to I was gonna go first. And I know he shouldn't. You should let them hit you and then... But, um, yeah. I, I just had a vision of cracking him and hitting, hitting the floor and rolling around with this kid. Like, that's that's... <laughs> You know, I'm fucking trying to take advantage of my my Hyundai with his Mercedes. But um, I don't know. Like I hope this kid he probably didn't learn anything from it. He's probably running around saying, "Oh, this old guy tried to beat me up in the parking lot." But um, I just hope like like when he looks back, he's just like, "Okay, let me try not to be such a smug prick and think that I'm better than everyone else." Because it could have got a lot worse. His family has lawyer mommies. Yeah, he, yeah, they probably would have sued the shit out of me. Probably. Yeah, maybe he wanted to get hit to sue me. Maybe that's what he was looking for. God knows. It's crazy, man. Like, I'm dreading when Ellie goes to fucking school. I'm dreading it. Because I know she's going to go to school with like these kids that are like this. And there's going to be more situations. And I'm going to have to deal with the parents. And Fuck. I'm going to have to be on a lot of, a lot of CBDX. Man, oh man. 
All right, let me. Uh, I'm gonna play a quick. Uh, let me get a quick hockey game in, and then I'm gonna run over to poker. So, quick hockey hockey game. Thank you guys for jumping. It was story time. Every time we do a gaming stream, it's like story time in the beginning. We get a little intimate. I had a good Halloween. Um, realized my age with life alert calls. I told the story about the almost fight at the pumpkin patch. <laughs> it's probably going to be a story that's going to go on. You know, it's going to be... <laughs> it's just such a dumb story. It's so stupid. I think that's what's funny about it is... It's so dumb. It's it's so dumb. Like, I can try to explain my angle and say why I did it. But at the end of the day, I'm completely realistic to the fact that it it's so dumb. So I'm not defending my act. Uh, maybe I was a little bit, but it's it's just dumb. Getting aggressive is dumb. And I wish I could just get that out of my system. You know? But I have a pretty good tolerance for stupidity. That day, I guess I didn't. I don't know. I know, JJ. Oh. Fuck, man. I think about it all the time. And if I have another kid and stuff like that, it's like double dipping. Like, what the hell? I got to deal with all this craziness. And I'm always sizing people up. Like, I'm always... Not like I want to fight everyone. But I'm just sizing them up thinking, okay, what is this idiot going to do? What's that idiot going to do? What kind of asshole is this? What kind of ass I'm trying to loosen up a little bit more, but it's taking some time. I realized that his license plate stopped in my car. Wait, what are you talking about here? I never really had any problems with uh, black people. Only one person. And I backed into a fucking ass and drove off. And he was videotaping me. And when I got to the parking lot where I was going, I realized that his license plate stopped in my car and was covering my life. She's like, fuck your life. Pound that ass hard with my duck. She loves dick. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know. You think it's the Irish? I don't know because my mom is the Irish side and she's the calm one. My dad has the Italian in him and he's, he's the guy that has the anger. So I would normally think it's that... <laughs> Shanty Irish side, but I think it might be the fucking Paisan in me. And it's the New York, too. Yeah, dude, that Rangers game was tight. I, I, I waited until after overtime. Beat the Flyers. Fucking Chris Kreider scored. And then I came over here. Yeah, I think it's the Italian. And, and mixed with that New York. I think if anyone's from New York, they kind of... You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that fucking New York. That I'm trying to shake... Like, I think I've done a pretty good job of shaking it. You know, that was one... That was one <laughs> mishap. But thankfully, it didn't... It could have been a lot worse, you know? Thankfully, it wasn't. Okay, let's get the dub, boys. We're playing a little... Little Hurricanes. Here it comes a goal. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get a dub here. Let's go, let's go. Let's get it popping. Welcome to the stream. Talking some stories. Tell your stories in the chat. Try to make them... Make a little bit of sense so we can understand. Have you had rageful moments? There it is. Is that Kreider? Look at that. How ironic is that goal? Gotta think about the Islanders right now and how they just respect white people. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? You got out of the car because you saw only a woman in the car. When the man confronted you, you got shook. Yeah, all right. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Once again, I was not looking to fucking fight. I was looking to just get claim my spot. That's all it was. That's all it was. You can try to uh, finagle whatever fucking route you want. I'm pretty consistent with my, my temper. It, it sucks. My temper sucks. Usually it's... Like I said, usually I can control it. I can defuse situations. That was just a little throwback to the old version of me. I'm still a work in progress. And I would have beat the shit out of that girl if she got out. <laughs> that smug bitch. I would have beat the fuck out of her. Or I would have said, hey Jess, get out of the car. I need you to beat this bitch up. She was laughing at me. Like, I hope that Ellie doesn't have that rage. Like, I hope that she doesn't get walked all over. 
but at the same time she she can address it appropriately not like clown dad <clears throat> street bomb you're the last <laughs> oh man yeah baby so what else is going on what else is going on that we can talk about you guys excited about this fight night this weekend oh by the way so our guest we have a switch up with guests tomorrow because Will Harris Will Harris is a great guy he really is. He's, he's a good dude, but he's like, he's tough. Like, you make plans, he forgets. Like, he doesn't, like, <laughs> put anything in the calendar unless he's getting flown somewhere or doing something. He's going back to Dubai. So I'm glad I reached out to him early. And I said, hey, Will, man, just confirm, and you're going to be good for Wednesday. And uh, he's like, oh, shit, man. He's like, we're going to have to postpone it. I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to Dubai again. So I don't know what he's filming. Probably some more neckbeard footage. So I'm like, okay, let's let's work on some people. So Treshawn Gore I reached out to. Um, reached out to a couple other people. You know, try to get some new faces, new blood. And it was just getting a little silly. Like, I didn't want to fucking just slide to, a, like, 50 different DMs. And then, like, with my luck, everyone would just start responding at the same time. And then, like, I double book, triple, like, I don't know, which is all fucked up, or people wouldn't respond. So I'm like, I'm not waiting anymore. So I said, I, I've been wanting to get Christine Ferreira back on, because the last time we spoke, she was, you know, it was tough. She was going to the airport, and it was a weird situation. I wanted to get more story out of her. And she is the bare knuckle champ. So she's coming back on Wednesday. Christine Ferreira back on the show. We'll get a little more intimate. We'll talk some lesbian stuff. Because we didn't get to, like, lesbian conversation, which I wanted to get into. Want to see what's next for her. I feel like Felbin's kind of holding her back. She's the fucking bare-knuckle champ. I, Taylor Starlin, I'm done. I'm done with her. Like, I don't know. She, like, leaves me unseen now and stuff like that. And I'm not going to, like... I used to have to go back into DMs and kind of, like, like, follow up and shit. I am not doing that anymore. That, that ship has sailed. So... Taylor, you ever want to come back on, you hit us up, okay, kid? Because I am done. No begging over here. No begging. So, yeah, Christine Ferreira coming on. Get her opinions on everything in the combat sports world. We'll find out what's next for her. See who she's defending that belt against. See if she is the aggressor in the lesbian relationship. Where those Mets? They're the same place where the Yankees are, so. And pretty much everyone else but the uh, Astros and and Phillies. Oh! Hit the post. And if you're a Philly fan, um, we just beat your team in overtime, the Rangers, so. I'm doing good. T -t -t Truba. Oh boy, my Giants lost, which is a bummer. Whoa! Wonderful, wonderful. We got a little Hearns action over here. Yeah, carry on with you. Laws changed in California. Sharif Department issues the permits. Laws changed, and if you have a record, been clean for decades, you can sponge your criminal record for anyone. Hmm. In Carly, angelic face. There you go. That's right. Don't you have like a little checkered pass there, Hearns? Look at that. So, all right, so there's loopholes. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. Got a war fund. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I want to find out. I want to get into her sex life. Like, she's like, she's got a pretty hot uh, girlfriend that she's with now. I want to talk about her sex life. I think she's she's wearing the pants in a relationship, I would say. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. Like, I want to, I want to get into the nitty gritty. We'll talk fights and we'll talk some lesbian action. She's fucking really cool, man. She's super cool. And she's, like, incredibly scary. Just cried her again. That's three zip, baby. 
NHL 94. That was a great game. The best. Still, still the goat of NHL games. What kind of questions do you want for Christine Ferreira, the BKFC champ? You know? We're the convicted felon movement of California. It'll cost me $2,000 to get my felony expunged uh, in California. Damn, man. West Coast. West Coast, you're the uh, you're the guy in the wheelchair, right? Is that are you the same guy? So what happened with you? What what happened with you, man? I feel like a lot of people in our chat have a record. <laughs> something something happened. I I feel like everyone's got a good backstory. Woo, we're just crushing these guys. Easy stuff. It's a banajad, baby. Yeah, I tell you what, Silver Carl, like Taylor's nice. Don't get me wrong. Taylor's really nice, but I feel like, you know, the thirst, you know, the thirst, like, I think she's falling into that. And, and if it's making her money and stuff, like, you know, I think she'd rather just, you know, spend her time hanging out with the guys that are, you know, fawning over half naked and stuff. I don't know. But she is a sweet girl. It's just, yeah, I, I you know, we, minute we got into like sex talk and stuff. It got a little weird, but then again, her boyfriend was there, so that might be why. Christine's loose, man. Like, Ferreira, she's super loose. Has a great sense of humor. So, she was partying with Floyd Mayweather on her birthday. She was at his strip club. They were hanging out together. It was pretty cool. So, I want to get that story, too. We didn't get that story. Christine fucking <laughs> making it rain at Floyd Mayweather's strip club. Ah, oh, I just got a penalty. My, dad, my mom died when I was one. Whoa. When, when, wait, hold on. My mom died when one was 14 and said, I said, fuck the world. Is that what you're saying there? It's usually for the win, but I'm saying fuck the world. Well, got into drugs and alcohol. So 14. So wait. So you, when you were 14. So that's an I. It's supposed to be an I. Damn, bro. So 14 years old. That's a fucked up backstory, man. Damn, you've been through some shit. But hey, I guess you pulled it together, right? You're still fucking kicking, doing your thing. Yeah, me and me and Christine Ferre, we had uh, sex. We had sex. We've had. Uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get her. I'm gonna try to turn her straight. I got a penalty kill here. I'm gonna skate around. I'm gonna try to uh, on tomorrow night. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to see if I. I'm gonna try to hit on her. See if I can turn her straight. <laughs> Did I just take another penalty? I just took another fucking penalty. <clears throat> yeah, people keep on talking about the Powerball. You guys want to play? You want to jump in together? Well, we'll buy <clears throat> buy some tickets. Split it. My old job it was all about that. A five on three. Well, do it with the community. We'll get rich together. We'll all live in a house together if we if we make it. Big mansion. Come on, baby. Come on. Outskate him. All right. Back check. Look at that aggressive five on three penalty kill. Oh, fuck. I just gave away the puck. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I'm going to be chasing around. Oh, boy. Save that. Oh, there you go, Hedl. All right, right down the zone. Okay, good PK. Good PK. Four to zero. What a start for the Rangers. This game is therapy for me. I love it, man. I love playing this game. I know. Oh, oh I just got undressed. Oh, shit. I thought you scored. Hold that. Hold that, bitch. I hear your fears, your praise, uh, and your regret. Off tomorrow. Are you, um, are you high or drunk? What's going on? What? What do you? What's like going on? Oh shit! Did I get deflected? Four one. Yeah, so I drank for the first time in a while last night. Like pounded some Johnny Walker. It's been a minute since I've drank. I got to be honest with you. I like I like the Delta way better. Like it was good. I felt good. You know, I haven't drank in a while. I had no hangover or anything like that. But um. 
but yeah, it's just like you gotta pee all the time, and I feel you have a little delta. It's an easier experience. You get right to the point. Less uh, oh shit. Ah, oh, try to hold it as long as possible. Shit. Give me that. Oh shit. Damn. 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 Block a Ruski. Out. Oh, wrong guy. Wrong guy. That's not the guy you passed to. Chasing him around. More deflections. Keep it going. Keep it going here. Who cares? We're men. We're real men. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, good play. Good play by the D. There we go. Right around the boards. Ah, oh, shit. All right, that power play is done. 4-1. Oh, Carolina. I'm going to win the Stanley Cup with these guys. I'm going to win. I'm going to win this Lord Stanley's Cup. And it's going to be glorious. I'm going to redeem myself for the last time I tried on air. <gasps> oh. Uh oh. That's oh, not enough. Oh, go. oh, dude. That was the guy I wanted to pass it to. <sighs> They're transitioning into a female. <clears throat> Oh, shit. Do people still think Jake Paul's win was fake? Is that still going on? To the point. To the window. To the wall. The sweat drips down my balls. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Down the boards. Down the boards. Ah. Okay. Here we go. Good D. Good. Russian, Russian. Stay on side. Here we go. Oh, I got pummeled. Uh oh. Watch out. Ah. Oh. Fake, fake win. Fake, fake win. So Ansel says fake. I went downtown for Halloween nightclub. Nightclub are overrated. Ah, oh, dude, man. I kind of miss those days. Jess would agree. Halloween. Going to a bar or a club is the best because you could be the ugliest fuck and 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 get a phone number. You know, you could be the ugly. Halloween is the night where anyone, anyone can meet. You know, a suitor, a sexual suitor. Halloween's the night. Now, granted, oh, there's a chance you might run into a fucking train wreck, but still. I mean, at least you guarantee. Oh shit, I just got popped. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa boy. Whoa boy. Oh my god, these guys suck. These guys suck a big cock. Oh shit. Can't get it to the net. I mean, how how did you not have fun? Unless it was just a a sausage party or something, then then it's a problem, right? If you go to a bar or a club and it's just all dudes, that's a problem. That's a problem. 5-1. I hate nightclubs loud, too many people, and overpriced drinks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the price is, it, you know, you have to make sure, like, your paycheck is going to be, because you're going to be paying. You know, it's not even about you drinking. You're going to have to pay for everyone else, like the chicks' drinks, too. These girls aren't paying for drinks. So it is an expensive night. I agree. It is. It's a very expensive night. But I used to love them, man. I can meet a sexual suitor right now without going to a club. But one phone call away, doggy. Come on. Stop lying. Stop it. Come on. What the fuck are you talking about? We're not talking about guys, man. We're talking about girls. I don't know where you're going with this, Kevin. We're talking about, we're talking about the females. Boom roasted. Come on, Kreider. Get the hat trick. Oh, damn. That was a fucking snipe. That wasn't Kreider. We got the assist, but... Those one timers. It's... Uh, I got laid, so I'm happy. There you go, JJ. Good for you. Good for you. I mean, it's not money, right? You go out to a club. It's not like you're guaranteed going to get laid. You know, the, the percentages, even if you're like a fucking handsome human being, you know, the percentages are low, right? But, you know, the experience is fun. At least get some phone number or something. Uh, I'll donate over fifty dollars if you guys send me a beanie. Uh, we have a beanie. Just buy it. We got a beanie, man. 
How about you donate that 50 so we could buy God of War? How about you be a fucking swole, sexy person? And donate that 50. We'll, we'll buy Ragnarok. How about you do that? But here, look, we got a beanie. You have to, so... The way to get the beanie is you gotta unlock it. It's not in our actual store. Uh, hold on a second. I gotta slide to another account. Go! What the fuck? All right, here. I'll show you how to do it. All right, here. Let me show you. We do have beanies. I don't even have a beanie. I should get myself a beanie. I wish we had them in-house where I could just send them to you guys, but we have a third party. So here's Streamlabs. This is like, you know, you can get all our crazy donations, all the wacky songs and everything like that. So if you want to support our show that way, but you click on the link, right? You could either donate or you can go to, uh, wait, where is it? Mm, fuck, where? I don't even know where the hell it is. I Man, if I don't know where it is, how does that help? Why am I not seeing it? Da, 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 da. Do I have to log in? Oh, maybe I gotta log in. What the fuck? I'm definitely missing something here. Oh, here we go. You click on the MMA holes right over here. Damn, that's kind of stupid. So you click on the MMA holes and then you can unlock the secret merch. So you can visit the store. You can see all the stuff over here. You like it, shorts and stuff. Secret merch. But um, yeah, if you want the beanie, the beanie is 21 bucks. So you don't have to donate 50. You just click buy now. And then a, a dopey song will play. It's a pretty tight beanie. Uh, Caleb Harris has one. It's like stitched on. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool beanie. I must say, I do like it. If you're looking to stay warm. Little plug. <clears throat> so go check it out for yourself. Check it out. Had to make sure AZ didn't burn to death uh, just like yesterday's man. What? Yeah, my, my beard's all it's all straggly. I'm not very I'm not well groomed. I'm very unkept. I'm like I'm a dad now. Like I you could tell like I just I don't care as much anymore. You know. I'm like in complete dad mode. Before I used to care. I used to put like moisturizer on my face. Like I used to put coconut oil on my face to preserve my skin. Now I don't care. Just wrinkle away. Let the sun just fry me. I should go back to that routine where I cared, but I don't. The only thing I do is occasionally, but I let it go gray. Like you can see the grays. I'll hit the, uh, the old beard dye, throw that in there. Get my hair cuts. But that's about it. If you want Ragnarok, you can buy it uh, for eighty dollars, then sell it for sixty after a quick two months, or wait two months till the other guys. Yeah, I know I could wait. I want to get it quick. I want to capitalize off of it quick. I want to just fucking play it. I usually wait until the price drops. I always do that. Like I buy the game, like a game like that. I would buy a year later and not even give a shit. But I kind of really want to play this one. So yeah, maybe I'll just do that or buy it and just give it away. Do a giveaway. Wow, it's still hot. You know, I, I'll probably just do that. I'll probably just buy it and then and then give it away. <clears throat> I think that'd be cool because that game is just it's it just looks so good, and it will take <laughs> forever to finish. But unlike uh, Star Wars, unlike uh, Elden Ring, I will finish God of War. I've never. Oh my God! I put it on my own net. Like um. I finished every single God of War game, and I will do everything possible to get through this game. So you will get the complete story. It's a great story, God of War. Whoa. Now that we know that uh, the kid's low-key, right? If I'm not mistaken, I got to refresh. I think they have a little refresher in the game, so you can kind of play that beforehand. There's a there's a cool promo. Did you guys see the promo with uh, with Ben Stiller, LeBron James, and there's an actual God of War promo. Whoa, shit! Come on, stop it. Did this just fucking happen? 
What? 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 Oh my god. Are giving me the damn hat, or I'll haunt us. <laughs> what the fuck? What the? What the fuck? My God! All right. Now, Savage Drunk. Here's the problem. Let me just say what the problem is. I'll, I will send you the hat. How do I know who you are? Like, if you sl like anyone could just slide into my DMs and say that was me. So I guess. Maybe send me a screenshot of the, because uh, I'm going to need your name and address. Send me a screenshot of your stream labs that you donated that 75. And uh, your hat, that's your hat. That's your fucking hat, baby. I got to send it to you now. There's really nothing I can do. And you sent it through stream labs. You didn't send it through super chat. So I got to send you the hat. I got I to do it. Thank you, man. Wow, 75. Come on, baby. Come on. $75 drop on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. That's fucking badass. That is badass. Now, I don't feel so bad telling the pumpkin, the pumpkin patch story. I don't feel so bad. I, I feel better. Damn savage, you know who that is? We'll just say it in the chat. Just say it in the chat and uh let's let's get it popping. Uh -huh. Wow man. Wow, 75 bomb man, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's crazy. That's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit. Buff is gonna scream! Oh shit, two on none. I got to tighten it up at 6-3. Conrad. From back in the day. Who the hell? Conrad. What was the rest? Conrad. Conrad. It, sa it does sound familiar. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank, though. Confirm uh, Savage Drunk if that's Conrad. Sober Carl seems more... The real drunk. Sober Carl, he, he, spokes in, he speaks in, in broken tongue. But we, we understand. I got a good story so you don't feel too bad. All right, thank you, Silver Crawl. I will, we got to have to hear that thing. Conrad. Is it Conrad? So he said it is Conrad. So Con why am I drawing a blank? What was the what was the last Conrad? Conrad, Conrad, Conrad. It does sound familiar. I don't know why I'm just I'm just drawing a blank, but my god, 75 bucks. That's fucking that's that's glorious. That's a glorious donation you dropped there. That's fucking badass. I tell you, like, if we get donations on this fucking channel, like, that is, like, it's literally the fucking coolest thing in the world that a, someone would actually donate to this fucking shit show. Oh, my God. Okay. I got to pull it together. <laughs> I got to play. I got to pull this shit together, man. What the funk? Let me try to clean up my language. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I can't, I can't let this, I can't let this keep happening. Jesus, they're all odd man rushes and what the hell, man? Get that on net. There you go, had a girl. All right, everyone, just relax. It's only a two goal lead now. Yeah, that game was crazy today, man. It was like the Rangers were zero zero going into overtime with the Flyers. Just a complete nail biter of a game. And then overtime win. Christopher Kreider. Oh my god, I just fucked up. Oh, I mean, fooked up. I fooked up, guys. I gotta clean myself up. Oh, son of a... Motherless goat. Whoa, what a move. Whoa, 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 clear it out. Alright. 
Am I playing the new game? This is not 23. This is still 21. I want 23. Uh, but I'm going to wait for that one to drop. So what I'll do is I'll probably play... What I want to do is I want to beat this game. I want to get like the Stanley Cup in this game. Oh, fuck's sake. Can we stop scoring? Can that just stop? Can... Please. Can someone stop these guys? Oh, Ragnarok? Yeah, that's, that's, that's coming, man. Conrad is the blow-no guy. Blow-no guy. I don't know why. I, I am drawing... Blow-no. What the fuck does that even mean? What is blow-no? Well, I know. Is Conrad is like my favorite, my favorite chatter right now. He's like... He's the fucking goat. Yeah, so Ragnarok incoming, man. We got a fucking doozy donation from Conrad. Savage drunk, whatever you want to call him. Look at this. 19 to 6 on faceoffs. Jesus Christmas. All right, here we go. Four minutes left. I am up 5 to 6. I am complete. My, my lead has just fell apart. I can't even get out of my zone. They're going to pull their goalie soon. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Nail in the coffin. There it is, bitch. Did you see how I slammed that in? Oh, dude. Cheap shot, bro. Cheap shot. Cheap fucking shot, man. Let's go. Sound the alarms. Let's sing the song. Oh shit, it's Connor McNeil. He's actually in the, is that the real Connor McNeil? Big fan. Go. Damn. Oh, he, oh, he's the guy that you went to high school with? Oh, I remember. I remember. What was the what was the other part of the name? Conrad something. I can't remember. Oh, cool stuff. I guess. Dude. Dude, what the hell? Everything they put on net, they score. This game was a blowout, and I, I can't. Okay. Concentrate. Concentrate. Channel my inner. I'm going to show you the. Uh, I'll probably get in trouble for it, but I'll, I'll show it to you anyway. The uh, Ben Stiller. That was a tie game right there. I'll show you the trailer to God of War. Like they had like a, a goofy promo video with Ben Stiller. Oh my God. One minute left. They got to pull their goalie. Skate, 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 skate. Keep away. Out of the zone. All right. All right. Skate, skate. There you go. Use the body. Offside. Yeah, I'm offside. I was good. I just wanted to blow the whistle, but I couldn't get it. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. Oh, oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. You're done. Oh, I missed it. Oh, fucking good play. Keep it deep. Keep it deep. They pull in the goalie. Wow, they pull it here. Fuck you. Then why pull the goalie while I'm right there? Why pull the goalie while I'm right there? Bro, what are you doing? I just picked the pocket and shoved it in the net. Sing the song. get something also dot don't need to be the hat talk to them for it okay wow thank you savage drunk thank you a hundred dollar fucking drop oh my god you guys want you want to get some fucking uh, beanies you guys want more beanies we send more beanies out Mike and Ann you want some beanies let me know do you want beanies because I tell you what, 
getting cold out there. Holy smokes. That's fucking, that's badass, man. That's really nice of you. Savage Drunk, thank you so much. Remember, Savage Drunk, send us the screenshot of your, um, in either Discord or at the MMA Holes on social, of your Streamlabs so we can send you your hat. But, um, it's getting cold. It's getting cold out there. And Comrade going crazy. You guys want one of those? Let me know. Damn. It's badass. Uh. Sorry, I went to the wrong scene. Someone. All right, Jess. Just trying to freak me out while I'm live. Just trying to fucking give me a heart attack while I'm live. Badass. Fucking A, man. Comrade going nuts. I don't even know what it, what just happened. I'm completely lost. Fucking Conrad. Well, that empty net or should I scored an empty net. We're in the last bit of the empty net with 25 seconds up. left. Six to eight. Feeling good. They're pulling their goalie again. Let's get another empty netter. There we go, bitch. We gotta give it to Kreider. Where's Kreider? Where's Kreider? Ah, uh, it's Benaren. Oh, I missed the empty net. I wish Kreider was on ice. Give him the hat trick. Get it in there. See ya. I'm back from a shit place and felt okay. So yeah, talk to me, a Savage Drunk. What's going on? Tell, let's learn a little bit about Savage Drunk here. I'm going to lower this down here. But the guy just fucking donated $175. I'm back from a shit place and felt okay. Actually call my ass. So what happened? What's going on? What, what, what kind of shit place are you in? Wow, man. We, we got the dub 9-6. to six. Fucking football score. Is there another color? Yeah, there is. Here, check this out. There is another color. So we got the black one. We got a navy blue one. And we got a red one. Which I've never seen the red one. In person. Black's the only one I've seen, but yeah, we got navy blue and red. So, yeah, let me know. We'll send a couple of beanies your way. If you'd like. Let's go. Yes, you could send an email. Um, the MMA holes, the MMA holes info at gmail.com. Send it there and we can get you your hat. For sure. Thank you, man. Same town. That's crazy. Small world. Nothing planned for tomorrow. Uh, a guy offered me work in Eagle Mountain. One hour drive. Savage drunk. Uh, donated a week of my life. You want navy blue? Okay. All right. Just uh, send us... Uh, just send us the address again. Like, I know if we, we, we've we sent you stuff before, just refresh us with the address. This way, uh, we make damn sure we send that to the right address. And uh, three beanies. Three beanies. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. So what should I do? Do you want me to play... Uh, I do like the black one. Yeah, I think I am. I have a black one already. I'm not. I'm not sure if she has one already. But um, I think the black one is pretty nice as well. That might be my favorite, but they're all pretty cool because, uh, like I said, the logo is kind of stitched on. Like the other merch that we have, it's kind of like a decal, whereas this one's like, it's stitched in, so that's pretty badass. So yeah, it depends. They're pretty nice. Not too shabby. Uh, I can send it to Mike, to Ann or Mike H also. Yeah, we're going to send uh, two hats to them. So you want, so we could, yeah, we'll send you the black one, then Mike and Ann, the navy blue. You got it. You got it, man. All right, so what should we, should we play hockey or should we play poker? What, what would you rather us play? Let me know in the chat. What should we play? Another hockey game? I could play this shit all night. It's, it's, I like it too because I could pause it 
and then just bullshit with you guys like anytime I want. Whereas poker, you know, I can't really pause it. Like it's live, it's it's going on with the other actual players. So it's like, you know, I get kind of lost in the shuffle. But at least with hockey, I can actually pause and talk. I could talk to you guys in poker, but big hands, you know, gets a little tricky. You guys are kind of ignored. Uh, play one last song too. Oh, let me show you guys. This is pretty funny. So I was talking about that God of War thing. So I'm going to get the God of War game in. I'm going to get that. You know, you guys are so supportive. So we're going to get that God of War game. So I'll, I'll get some more content. Your favorite KO out of nowhere. My favorite KO out of nowhere. What do you mean? Play hockey, please. I thought it was real. <laughs> I tell you, this game is from it's 2021. It's like a couple seasons back, but I think it looks good for, you know, it's PlayStation 4. I think it looks actually pretty good. I love the hockey game. I can fucking play this thing. Literally. I can play this hockey game. I can play forever. Uh, okay, what was I doing? I, I wanted to show you this. I don't know if you guys saw this. So God of War Ragnarok is the game. Actually, let me take a piss before I do this. All right, I'm going to take a, uh, a little pee pee break. I'll come right back here. Uh, p playing poker. I did see, I saw uh, Tom did pop in on uh, Bro Bro Platter. So he's, he didn't leave the platform. I think he just left us. So he is still alive. So that's good. I'll be right back, guys. Quick break. Piss break. Be right back. <laughs> Man, we got some massive donos that came in and when donos come in I fucking go crazy I fucking lose my mind I go wild I just can't contain myself wonderful, wonderful. you know what I'm saying alright so I wanted to show this I thought it was pretty fun I saw this right before I went live I don't know if you guys like Ben Stiller <clears throat> oh boy bot views it's true they are bots we have 37 bots in right now um yeah that guy's weird man he's a weird dude he's a weird guy he's really weird I, I, I don't know I hope he fucking goes to the gym or something I hope a lot of these YouTubers exercise move your body get yourself out there you're too young these guys are too young they're on YouTube they're fucking 400 pounds just fucking move 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 go to the gym get in shape just or just control your diet stop fucking gulping down energy drinks take care of yourself you're just too young to be on YouTube just dying in front of everyone like legit just falling apart Please. Please. Let's move, baby. Because YouTube is not the job for obese people. It's just not. Because, like, me sitting here, I, I like, it's just too long. 
too long, man. I got to go to the gym. I got to fucking move around. I'm still not moving enough. Move. Move that body. All right, so God of War Ragnarok coming out in a couple of days. So here is a little, a little promo clip. That's a great observation, John. Ella said that you'd think it was stupid. No, I said I thought it was stupid. Okay, you know what? This is good right here. I mean, the God of War dynamic plays out in every parent-child relationship. When that clicked for me, I picked up my Leviathan axe and felt truly close to my son for the first time. I'm 17. Exactly. Leviathan. Look at this shit. Ben Stiller. It's <laughs> Kratos. <laughs> it's a pretty good costume. Pretty good makeup, too. Ben Stiller is Kratos, and here's his son. Exactly. Leviathan. Axe. Ronnie, what's going on, man? You're a little quiet today. Anything to add? <laughs> no. No is good. No counts. You know, Quinn was where you're at about a month ago, and uh, look at him now. Okay, last night, 2 a.m., I'm laying in bed. What am I thinking about? Kratos. Are you kidding? That's me. Big time. <laughs> that's, that's common for me. We believe you. Being too thirsty. No, I'm hydrated. Specifically, the time he tried to protect Atreus from Balder, and Atreus got so angry, he shot Kratos through the chest with uh, one of those, um, like that spiky thingy. It was an arrow. <laughs> like, you couldn't get the, the, <laughs> the three most... Just random people to be here. Travolta, LeBron James, Ben Stiller, and their kids. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> now, I get it because Kratos is with his kid and, you know, it's a whole father-son type thing. And, well, and Travolta, father-daughter. But um, a pretty pretty funny, them putting this together. You know? And, and LeBron kind of catches it here very soon. Check this out. Arrow, right? Spiky arrow thing. I mean, nobody can hurt you like your kids, right? LeBron? Guess so. What's going on beneath that headband? <laughs> I'm not even wearing one. No, I know. You know. I mean, like, if you were. When Bronny said he'd rather play against me than with me. Shot in the heart. Really? I think we call that a little breakthrough. <laughs> A little break. <laughs> and was it me or when he when he did the headband comment? Did he take a shot at his like fake hairline? I'm curious. Ben's still a killing it right now. Some shots you just can't block. I can see that now, Ben. Hmm. Kratos. I <laughs> cannot believe I missed practice for this. I want all the breakthrough. Ella, why don't you ever hurt my feelings? Okay, you're old and you're bald. Just like Kratos. And how about Travolta? He's not doing the wig thing anymore. He's just completely embracing his boldness. He still looks pretty good, Travolta. Like, how old is John Travolta? Now, John, last week you said you were finally ready to wear your Kratos outfit to the farmer's market. How'd that go? Incredible. I had people pointing at me going, now that's a really great dad. That's not why they were pointing. You were wearing a buckskin loincloth. Ella, it's not buck, it's bear. And I get those points all the time. People pointing, oh my God, look at that great dad. So why aren't you wearing that stuff today? Well, unfortunately, my armor bears the scars of a recent battle. He spilled a bunch of salsa on it. Hmm, that can happen, especially with the leathers. Exactly, tattletale. Look, if it was easy, every dad would be dressed like this, right? Does the costume really help? Uh, I don't know. Does the costume really help when you play basketball? <laughs> <laughs> it is a costume. Yeah, let's go. God of War, baby. Let's go! Come on. Dude, this game is going to be fucking fire. This game is fire. There's never been a bad God of War game. It's never it's never happened. Never ever happened. It's an impossibility. So that's coming out. It's funny though, right? I tell you what, like some people can't stand Ben Stiller. I still think he's funny. I I think Ben's I think I don't know. That sense of humor is is pretty good. Um, okay, let's see. Let's turn this off. All right, so let's get a little poker. A little poker in the bitch. A little poker, poker in the anus. Shut this party off. Okay. 
You guys ready for poker? It's called Poker Championship. And um, free to all if you'd like to play along. I don't know if I want you guys stream sniping. I kind of like showing you guys my hands. Northman was good, right? So we've seen some pretty cool movies. Uh, we saw Hereditary. Did you guys see the movie Hereditary? A horror movie that was really bizarre. But I, it, was, it was kind of entertaining. Still, of course, of course. What's that movie called? That um, Terrifier. Best movie I've ever seen in my life. Terrifier 2, I should say. That was uh, far superior. Terrifier 1 was entertaining, but Terrifier 2 was just... It was a masterpiece. An absolute masterpiece. You watched the first one? Okay. So the first one, a complete slasher. Second one, very different. Very, very different. Like, more of a story slasher. All right, here we go. Let's let's pump this up. Let's get you guys in over here. What'd you think of Terrifier One? <laughs> What'd you think? I bet you enjoyed it. Hered Hereditary, great movie. Check out uh, oh Midsom uh, same director Midsomar. How you say that? Samar? Somar? Midsomar? Is it is it the same? All right, hold on. I, yeah, Hereditary was wild, like, because it wasn't a traditional horror movie, so that's why I liked it. Was it called Mid? Fuck, I have no. Jess, write that down. We're going to watch that next. Mid Somar. Samar. Can you believe that nothing you really do matters? You just die. That's nice. <laughs> How you doing, Lou Dog? There's a movie before Terrified called All Hallows. Yeah, I did hear about that. I did hear about that. Yeah, so they like tested out the character in like shorts and stuff, like different movies. Um, but I just watched Terrifier and Terrifier 2. And I loved them. Jesse couldn't get through Terrifier 1. She had trouble. <laughs> there, was a hard, there was a kill in there that just kind of set Jess off. And she was like, yeah, I'm done. But she somehow watched the second one. She 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 stuck it out the second one, but there was a kill in Terrifier one that she just like okay. So to the people saying that there was vomiting and this and that, can I get some free chips? Oh, let's collect. Give me them gems. Give me them gems. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, okay. Nah, I want I want a pumpkin still there. Okay, so let's see what kind of tournaments we got going on here. Oh, this one starts in, in, or should I go 100K event? I think I'd rather do that one. And this will give you guys time to get in. All right, so it's going to take nine minutes of bullshitting, but um, I think I'd rather do the 100K. 100K. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, so I'm going to jump in this one. 100K event. So if you want to get in, it's right there. You have plenty of time to get in. Uh, let's see. St. Maud was tremendous as well. Kind of like The Exorcist, but new. St. Maud? Fuck, man. Can you DM us these names so I don't forget? Because I probably will watch all these. I don't know, I don't know if Jesse will. But I know I will. Mm -mm -mm. Did we ever find out what drugs off tomorrow is on? <sighs> Did we ever get to the bottom of that? All right, so we got we got some time to kill over here. Th this tournament, 100K max, uh, 100K tournament. There's eight, eight minutes left. You anyone has a chance to get in it? All right, YS, we'll we'll get it. We'll set it up next time for sure. Fentanyl is that? <laughs> <laughs> What's off tomorrow doing? <laughs> what is he doing over there? He's just like rambling weird stuff that makes zero sense. Uh, chill and watch the not the MMA holes. Tell him hello. Oh, damn. I forgot his name. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to this Ragnarok game. It should be pretty fun. I think it'll be fun to watch too. Me struggle. 
against bosses and puzzles. Puzzles are the worst. Me trying to get through some of these puzzles. I'm like, what the fuck? What do I do? It's like thinking and shit. But it's good. It's good exercises for the brain. So now that House of the Dragon is off, you know, a little break until the next season. There's really nothing we'll watch him. Uh, let's see. Is there any other TV shows? I kind of wanted to run through Hannibal with Jesse, but I really am making her watch a lot of horrible things, like gross and gruesome things. So I guess I got to pump the brakes and she wants to start watching like loose comedies. Are there any good comedies that came out now? Because I feel like comedies now are no good. Like, has there been a recent comedy that would just hit it out of the park? They were great. Like, back in the day, there were some real strong, solid comedies that had edge to them. Funny. But now, I, like, I don't know if there's any new, like, new, like, I don't even know of a new movie that came out. It's like, oh, dude, that's hilarious. You got to check it out. Like, the last, like, this is the end type humor I'm talking. Because this is the end was pretty good. But I like I feel like that was like the last really good one. Do people make comedies anymore? Like new ones? Or uh it seems like there's a lot of horror movies that come out. Or action or like fucking I gotta be honest, I'm a, I'm getting a little sick of the Marvel I love Marvel and stuff like that and superheroes, but I'm getting like I'm kinda getting like nauseous with all these superhero movies. I didn't see the Thor movies. Like I saw the like the first three, but I didn't see Ragnarok. I don't even know the fucking names. The one with the Hulk, I didn't see that one. I actually heard it was pretty good, and I didn't hear see the last one. So I'm kind of falling off. I did see the Spider Man one. And Carnage, let there be Carnage. The Thor movie was no good, huh? I just saw he got really buff. But yeah, I heard like kind of not so great move. Like it, it was like a long SNL skip people were saying, which I don't know. I probably could skip it then. Yeah. And then the Black Panther's coming out. Did you guys see this? A little controversial, a little controversy over here. Pull this up. Check this out. That's coming out. Should be interesting, right? Because the uh, the lead actor passed away. So curious, like, what they're going to do with it. But then you see this girl and you're like, okay, maybe I don't have to see this. Check this out. You're going to love this. I don't know if it's a guy or a lady. I'm not quite sure. I think it's a lady. But it could be a man. I have no idea. This is 53 seconds you're never going to get back in your life. Just warning you. This message is to all our would-be accomplices and white allies. This message is to all the white people who have BLM in their bio. If you really want to prove to black people that you love us and you care about us and you are down for the cause, do not go see that movie opening weekend. You buy your ticket, you give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go. And then you go sit at that theater in front of the doors. You make sure that every black person in that theater can enjoy that movie in peace. You make sure that you use your body to block us from anybody who would be coming in that theater to do us harm. <laughs> that is your job. You can go see it on another weekend. Go see it on the second or third weekend. But the first weekend, that's for us. To do anything other than this is anti-black. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i've wa I watched this video so many times because i was like there's no way someone actually said that this girl's got to be trolling and you know what i would hope so but i don't know i don't know that weird i don't know there's like a weird setup going on over here that i don't think unfortunately i don't think it is a troll job i think this woman's actually being serious and um, I hope the people with BLM in their profiles that are white, they sit in front of the door and they protect the black people so they don't, their movie doesn't get interrupted. Because this is a black movie. You know, Wakanda forever. 
This is a movie only black people are allowed to sit in. So white people, don't infest that theater with your whiteness. <laughs> don't ruin it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so funny, man. This is why the internet's great. Like, people shit on the internet, but this is great. We need more of this. This will definitely bring us all together. So that happened. Now that, that happened. You got to love it, man. Okay, we got a minute 50. Minute 50 before the tourney starts. 100K. Let's get the dollars. Let's get it done. By the way, I'm almost at a million over here at my chip skis. I've been playing way smarter. But, you know, it's tough. These big tournaments, they're tough. I like to sit at the table, five players, and just just nail second, first place, second, first place, second, first. Like, it's so much easier. This here, you got to battle hundreds of people. And uh, just to get, you know, in the money is, is tough. I think just by us being there, I don't think like we're going to like, I don't know. Maybe she thinks we're going to go in there and just mow them down. I don't know. I don't know what she's thinking, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> It's pretty fucking. I was, I was watching. Like, is this real? Like, this can't be real. Even if it was a troll job, though. Like, I don't understand. Unless you just want clicks and retweets, which I mean, this this video is perfect for. It's got one hundred twenty nine thousand views on just this person's version of it. So God knows, what she she probably killed it on TikTok. I bet TikTok probably rewarded her tremendously in the algorithm. But uh, let's register. Let's re let's play some poker. P -p -p poker. I'm registered. 20 seconds. Did anyone in the chat get aboard in our 100K event? It's going down. A 100K event. Will I win? <clears throat> she doesn't want us to be there. Like she doesn't want white people to be there to, um, you know, ruin their experience. She doesn't want too much whiteness in that theater. So, I don't blame her. Sometimes white people are too much, you know? <laughs> so weird. But I thought, like, the BLM thing, I thought we kind of moved on. Like, that's done. And then I saw Candace Owens did a whole, like, anti-BLM thing. And I'm like, I thought it was dead already. Like, what? like no one's saying, like, BLM anymore. Like, it's just kind of like, that ship has sailed. It's on to the next thing. But, um... I guess it's still there. I don't think it's as popular anymore, but people are just digging it back up and talking about it. If Jesse's up, Jesse, you still up? If you are, uh, would you like to get into the game? Would you like to get in the game? All right, so we're waiting on this thing. One minute, 50 seconds. Until we enter the 100K tournament. I should have just played hockey. Too much waiting. Waiting for tonight. Oh, <laughs> who sang that? You got a thing in my heart Waiting for tonight Oh <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> was that like Jennifer Lopez? Today I was outside in the backyard We were watching Minions Me and the kid And uh Umbop was playing You gonna play? You gonna jump in? Oh just gonna jump in But you gonna see my hands Oh okay You gonna hang out on air or no? Okay, it's Jessica jump in the game. Was it Jennifer Lopez? So, um, yeah, I was sitting and we were watching Minions. Ellie loves Minions. It's like, she, she, she loves that. And they were playing Umbop and was, the Minions were singing it and Ellie was dancing. So I was like, oh, you like Hanson? So I put it on, <laughs> I put it on Spotify. I put Hanson's Umbop on Spotify. And I was like, oh, she's going to tear it up. 
And as it started playing, she started screaming at me, Next! 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 <laughs> to skip this song. <laughs> She's going, Next! Like, like eyes lit up, like, Next! 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 <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> And, and it's probably not funny to, like, other people, but these are, like, little stupid things that, like, like parents tell, and they find it so funny, but other people don't find it funny, you know? It's so weird, right, how that is. Like, I, I remember, like, when people would tell me these stories, I'd be like, that's not funny, you know? But now that we have a little one, now I think it's the fucking funniest thing in the world. <laughs> she just did not want to hear Hanson. <laughs> Unless minions are singing it. All right, so 29 people place. So I got to get top 29. Next. Next. <laughs> oh, look at the picture. It's me as Fred Flintstone. And now he has pebbles. <laughs> That's, take that, poker game. Me as Fred Flintstone and Ellie as pebbles. We're about to take this tournament. Oh, it's fucking funny. I forgot. It. I guess I should have changed that. I had the other picture where I was pointing, and it, it was such a better picture. This is so not intimidating, but I do have a very intimidating face here. Come on, Fred. Let's get it done. Fred and Pebbles about to take down this tournament. Huh? Don't get reckless. What do you mean get reckless? Don't get reckless. No, I'm going to make the money. Wanna, That's what I do. Okay. Yeah, Ellie looked great. I love you too. You know, me and Ellie, when you hold like an Ellie up next to you, it just makes you look worse. Like... Too bad Ellie wasn't ugly. Because then I could put her up next to me and look better. She makes me even look worse. So it doesn't pay having a cute kid. But um, she did play pe Pebbles off pretty good. She had a couple of nip slips. <laughs> I told Jess. I'm like, we're going to have to fix her costume. But um, yeah, Ellie rocked that. She, wore, she rocked that Pebbles costume. A straight. Ooh. 29. So top 29. We're in the money. Jesse's in the game too. So this is going to get crazy. Keep an eye out for Jesse's avatar. I forgot I left this on. Waiting for tonight. What a terrible song that was. I don't know why it's in my head. Oh. To go into my heart. Waiting for two nights. <laughs> that really was a bad song. Thank you, Dad Winker. I appreciate that. I appreciate the, the checks in the mail. Uh, thank you, Ann Ann. Thank you. Yeah, we have some cool shots with Ellie for Halloween. Like the you know the traditional dad walking, holding the baby's hand. You know, everyone, every dad needs that shot, right? Where you're at, like, the back, and the kid's walking with you. And then there's cute pictures of Ellie in the path. Cell phones are great, man. Cell phones really are great. You can get such nice shots at cell phones. They're not exactly, they're not as good as, like, the full-frame cameras and stuff. But the technology's gotten so good that you can at least get by. You can run it through a software, an editing software. Lightroom, the best. And um, you can kind of touch up, you know, bring out certain colors and stuff and make it look nice. Thank you, Sobercar. I appreciate that. How dare you? Jennifer Lopez from South Park. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is off tomorrow? Is that is that D rest? Who is who is off tomorrow? Fold. Two movies J Lo is in that were good: Oliver Stone's U Turn and The Cell. But you can't sing for shite. Yeah, oh, she was in that, the, the first movie she was ever in with George Clooney. I remember seeing her in that movie. I can't remember what the hell it was called. But I was like, wow, this girl is fucking hot. That was years ago too. I don't know. Let's see. Jennifer Lopez, George Clooney. What the hell was that movie? I don't even remember if it was good. Jennifer Lopez, George Clooney movie. Out of Sight. Yeah, it was called Out of Sight. That was like her first ever movie. And I remember seeing her. I was like, God damn, this girl's pretty. 
And then like years went by and then she progressively became less attractive to me. She held, she's held together pretty good for her age, you know? She definitely looks good for her age, for sure. But after that movie, like, I don't know, things started to fall apart. I'm playing a hand here. I should pay attention. Give me a king. Give me a jack. Give me a king jack. Damn, can you pair me up or something? There's a bet. I kind of want to fish, but I'm afraid... You know what I'm afraid of? Like, a spade's going to come out. Oh, there's a jack. And it's not a spade, so that's good. I mean, you don't have a flush, do you? Okay. I kept it low, so... Jack? Atta girl. I kept it low so I can get some money. I should have got one higher, I guess. Can you take me higher? Money Train, Wesley Snipes, and Woody Harrelson. Oh, that was the first movie? Why did I think? I could have sworn it out of sight. 1998 was the first movie, but I guess not. Maybe that was the first time I seen her. This guy's on tilt. Because I took your money? Is that why? I took your money so you had to re-raise? I'll bow out. <laughs> J-Lo's the type of woman to buy a pink shirt and make you wear it. <laughs> yeah, I get that vibe. I do. She seems like such a cunt. Like, she couldn't hold down a guy. And then how'd she get back with Affleck? Is she- are they still together? <clears throat> yeah, she seems like such a fucking asshole. Yeah, I don't care how beautiful you are. If you come across, like, an asshole like J-Lo, you're you're just ugly. They did get married. What her and Affleck? That's crazy. How you make a movie like Geely and get back with that person? Waiting for tonight. Oh, waiting for my hand. Wow, these guys must be twins at the table. They look exactly alike. Anyone in the chat get in the game? Did anyone in the chat get in the game? Just let me know. Because that would uh, make things difficult for me. So yeah, we had a good Halloween. It was nice. A lot of crazies. There was a guy in a golf cart. It was pretty cool. He was like driving his kid around in like this little, like, um, like, uh, you know, those, those fucking little golf carts with the little back wagon and stuff zipping around the streets. And he had a Jurassic Park sticker on the side. And then the music was playing. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Let's see if my girls get me the dub. All right, two players. Oh, you're all in. Easy. Easy win. Easy dub for me. No ace, please. No ace. No ace. Not on the river. Atta girl. Get out of here. Fuck out of here. See you later. <laughs> You're in. What's your name? Let me know what your name is. What the fuck? Come on. What the fuck? I should have bet. I should have bet higher. Because I want to chase more people. This guy's gonna go all in. Uh, what the what the hell? I got. I had back to back. I had back to back queens. I'm just gonna put this guy all in. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god. God, if I would have slow played that, I did not expect that. Dude, if I would have slow played that, I would have wiped the whole fucking table out. I should have slow played. Oh my god. My god. Dude, I would have wiped everyone out. That's crazy. I'm in ninth place overall. I'm fucking. F I'm on fire. Shit. I mean, you get back to back queens. 
Like, what's the odds of that? And usually they don't hold up with all these people playing, so you like to chase them out. You know, get the blinds. Fuck. Dude, that's crazy. That's incredible. Eighth place. <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm like hitting like hands. Like, this is not a great hand, but it's not bad for a big blind. You know, you're suited. They're close. This guy raised. Might as well. Da -na 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 -na. Fucking A, man. You got like, what is going on? Dude, what is going on? I should put them all in. Yeah, let's go. He probably has a higher pair. Oh, fuck. Look at the kicker. Give me a club. Give me a club. Give me a club. 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 Oh, fuck. Damn. God, if I had a club. Fuck. Ah. Uh, he had the same pair with a higher kicker. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. See, I got, I got too greedy. Damn, a club would have buried him. What the fuck? See, my low kicker's probably gonna burn me again. I should just go all in. Alright. Damn, I'm getting fucking... I'm getting solid hands, though. Like, these weird-ass hands on blinds and shit. Da -da -da. Like, look at this. Like, I'm not gonna... Play. Should I fuck it? Ah, fuck. Let's call it. <laughs> why not? I mean, why the fuck not? Oh, there goes my hand. If we get checks around, I'm good. Oh, someone, someone's gonna slow play the ace. This guy's probably gonna bet. Oh, shit. Alright, so no ace. No ace. Now you're going all in. To fish one on a river. I don't think you have the ace, but... Here comes a king, watch. What the fuck? Damn, pair of sixes. I gotta get out of these fucking hands. Fuck it, fold away. What am I doing? I'm playing too much. I'm getting a little... Uh, there's 114 left now. So now I'm 27th. But I'm um, still... I should have just kind of chilled. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. This is fucking crazy. This is fucking nuts. Like, this is just nuts. This is nuts, man. What the fuck? I should just play every hand. This is crazy. It's incredible. But I'm not going to get... I'm just going to chill. Just going to chill. I can't get too greedy because what's going to happen is I'm going to start bleeding. So, I got to play smart. Maybe I'll get first place. Maybe I'll pull it off. Da -da -da. Did we ever find out what player... Uh, what's his face is? Jesus. It's a middle pair. I probably had the best hand. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. There's a possible straight out there though. Oh my god, I got a full house. No, I got oh I got two pair. No, it's full house. I had a full house. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? There's no possible way I could win this. See, now I'm going to get burnt. Now I'm going to get... Just fold, bro. Just fold. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, my God. 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 I just played so fucking dumb. I just played so... I was getting bomb after bomb after bomb. Fuck off. I went from playing fucking excellent to playing like a fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. Two overs. Two overs. There it is. I had a girl. Fuck off. Fuck off. Dude, I, I am playing so bad. Like... I am playing, like, I'm playing borderline mentally retarded. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't, I can't escape. I can't fucking escape. Like, I just get sucked into this shit. Oh, uh, Jesse's out. Dude, the way I'm playing, I don't know how the fuck I'm still in this. Oh, fuck. I'm playing too many hands. 
Like a, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a, like a gambling. Oh my god. I got, I got too much here. I got to go on. I got too much here. I got a possible straight. I got. I mean, the the flush might kill me. The flush is probably gonna kill me. Watch. All right, so far we're good. Oh, done. Bang. You're done. You're all dead. You're all dead. Fuck off. I had. I just got a fucking straight flush. I just got a fucking straight flush. I just got a straight flush. <laughs> I got a straight flush. You don't get much better than that, baby. And I some, you know, I got a <clears throat> low pair. I feel like I got the winning hand. I don't think anyone's got trips. You would have bet on it. Fuck, dude, I got a straight flush. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is nuts, man. This has been a nutty game. If I would have played all those hands earlier, like just kept playing straight through, God knows where I'd be fucking right now. This is the most active I've been in a game in a while. I gotta fucking... I gotta be cool though, man. I can't... I can't lose my cool. I can't believe I got a straight flush. Like, that's shocking. I'm out. Are you addicted, YS? Yeah, it is. It's very addicting, right? I don't play off-air, though. Like... <clears throat> What do we got going on here? What you guys got? Two pair. Aces and queens. Da -na 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 -na. I can't believe Jesse got knocked out. How dare you, Jesse? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try not only place, but I'm going to try to fucking... Man, we had a really close situation, man. I was this close to getting knocked out. Very close. But I had enough chips to bounce back and some luck. This game's been wild. Probably would have won this hand. But see, like these these all ins, what do they got? And I would have lost. Oh no, I would have won. Uh, da, 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 da. twelve tables left. Eighty players. Was it twenty nine plays? I'm in twenty seventh. So so far I'm in the money, but like anything can happen. I, I gotta I gotta keep my cool. <laughs> I wish they were suited. Like this is a hand you can lose. Like I can get. Uh... I'm feeling like I should get aggressive on this, but I feel like I'm gonna if I. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise 1k. Okay, let's try to knock some people out here. People might be pot committed. Let's get some folds. Let's get some folds. Fold it. It's too much, man. That puts you all in. There we go. Fold. Good. One more fold. Give me the blinds. Fold it. Bro, it's, it's going to put you all in. It's going to put you all in. You want to fold. Oh, I fucking cold. Fuck. God damn it. All right, I'm going to have to go all in. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. He fucking called. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, he had nothing. What did you call? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Why did you call that? I just jumped to sixth place. Dude, what the fuck? That's the that's the same call. That weird, controversial bullshit call that that girl made. And she hit, like, on the river. If that guy would have hit on the river after calling like that with nothing, I would have literally lost my mind. Dude, what the fuck? All right, seventh place. I know I got to chill. I know I, I got, like, this weird itch that I just want to be in on every hand. I can't do that. I can't. We got to be smart. We got to be smart. We got to get, we got to get big dub tonight. 69 players, 67 players. So top 29 pay. We're eight tables left. 
Auntie's gonna be coming up soon. I got a good cushion. So I can literally post and fold to 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 make the money. But we'll see. Hopefully I don't get caught in something stupid. I'm only gonna play blinds. Unless I got a fucking beast. <clears throat> Let's go, Lou Dog. Let's go, baby. I gotta be honest, don't learn from this game from me because there was a lot of luck sprinkled into this. I set a couple of traps, but I almost got fucked from being, being too aggressive. I don't typically p play this aggressive. I got luck behind me in this game. Usually I would be a little, a lot more conservative, but you know, when you, when you get hot, sometimes you gotta, you gotta go with it. So this is probably not the game to like learn technique. Cause I'm, I'm playing a little reckless. It's just the hands are like, what the fuck? I'm going to fold it. I, I, I mean, I could, I could bully the threes. A lot of people are like, why'd you just fold a pair? They're low. They're low, and if people don't get chased out... See, now we got we got three over cards that came out. And now people could be firing away. My threes would have got annihilated. Whoa. Yeah, see? Good fold. Good fold. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Like, this is just stupid luck. All right, I hope someone's got, like, a, fl a straight. I hope... So Please tell me someone's got a fucking straight. Please. Please, straight, straight. Oh, I would've fucking, oh my God. Dude. Dude. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I, do, I don't understand. Like, I'm hitting trips. Fucking straight flushes. What the hell? God damn it. Oh, that, that drives me nuts, man. How do you get this lucky? It's not worth it. It's okay. Just just chill. Just chill. Chill, chill, chill. Stick with the plan, baby. Stick with the plan. Not a bad small blind. I could I could try to bully this guy out. If if we get some oh fucking cunt. I'm sorry for the language. I apologize if there's any kids. Like, it's just you you guys are bullies. You're you're a bunch of bullies. So Jason up top has something good in the pocket. I'm hoping this guy. All right, you fold good. Damn, I hit a, I hit a, I hit a pair. So you have a pair. What do you fucking have? You have a pair. You have, a, and you're calling. Oh, I gotta get out. Oh my fucking god! I'm. Stay patient, stay calm, stay cool. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, there's a possible possible flush. Dude, now you're checking. Go all in, go all in. I hate you guys. One I fucking hate you guys. I hate you. Dude, why us? I mean, I, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. Like, I should just stay in every fucking hand. How, like, what's the odds of that coming up? Fold, get me out of here. Dude, what the f... Crazy. Crazy. That was a good bet. Because he bet like he had the pair. And I believed him. But then he did wind up having a pair that was better than mine. The ace... I, what the... How does that come out? That's incredible. Man, oh man. This game is all over the place. Stop. Ah, fuck me. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta fucking do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I'll be kicking myself. Give me clubs. Bing bing. Well, we got a nine. Let's just go all in. I'm just fucking scared of these motherfuckers. You gotta pay to see my cards. You gotta pay, bitch. You gotta pay to see my cards. Might as well use those chips. Okay, here come the Annie's. Fucking A, man. Not a bad big blind. Fold around. <sighs> oh. 
What the fuck? Well, it's... I'm going to call. Okay, it's interesting. We got two all-ins. I should check. I should check around. That's that's the proper way of doing it. Damn, man. I hope he didn't pair up. It's ace high? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god baby yeah we are rolling even with this this game has been nuts this is nuts this game has been freaking wild Okay, let's see how many players we got left. They're just uh, condensing tables now. So we're waiting. What a crazy game. Oh, Jesse, she's she's on Christmas music right now. Like as soon as Halloween's over. Yeah, YS, it's crazy, right? Like if I would have stayed in every hand, like I would have won, I uh, lost a couple here and there. But it, these hands, like this is not typical. To get hands like this. This is not... It's just not normal. And the thing is, I don't want to get reckless. Because I'm hot in my hands. Because what's going to happen is as the game progresses, I'm going to lose my whole fucking train of thought. And then I won't be able to play smart at the end. So I, I got to I gotta tighten up at some point. Annie's are 50. So 43 players. I'm in 8th place. Boy, oh boy. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, give me the diamonds. Damn. The pocket pair will bet. Fire in a hole. Jason's coming in hot. He's coming in hot. Fuck you. Fuck you. He bet low too. I should have folded. I can't be playing off blind. Uh... All right, YS, have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by. I'm still hitting on a pair. It's wild, man. Probably would have won his hand. Up oh, the ace one. Ace one. Shouldn't have played that last hand. <clears throat> Would have saved some chips. Oh. I agree, Sober Carl. I agree. But um, Jesse doesn't. Jesse likes to. I hope I can get final table where, you know, things are a lot different. I can play a lot different. My strategies. So let's see. We'll let this thing. I have enough chips to kind of keep me afloat. Play blinds. 11th place. What a run. Looks like my, my cards are cooling off. Probably a good time for them to be cooling off. Next one, I'm blind. Fold this. We'll see where the blind takes me. I like Christmas music, but not Christmas. <clears throat> okay, big blind. Let's see. We oh, boy. Got to chase. Got to chase people out. The problem is everyone's got a lot of chips. I got to raise. I should have raised more. Fuck. I should have raised more. All right, I got to go all... I got to fucking fire in the hole. Okay, I got that guy out. Come on, Kings. Hold up, baby. Let's go. Oh, shit. Fuck off. I'm glad I chased that guy out. Well, that sucks. That sucks. What's up, Duke? How you doing, buddy? <sighs> My chips are going in the wrong direction. $2,000. 
two people called off blind. <sighs> Fuck me. Well, here we go. We got a pair on the board, so a king coming out would really make things interesting. Someone's gonna bet with a pair, unless this guy's got 12k in ki chips. Fuck. Oh, there's a lot of spades out there. I mean, clubs. No one's got a club? King high? Oh, shit. Why didn't you bet? You're the nut. What the? Why didn't you bet? Were you waiting for someone? What were you waiting for? Oh, I'm losing chips. Okay, let's get that money, and then we're going to have to make a power move. See, too many lucky hands. Let's see, how many players have we got? So we're going from five. How many tables? I've been doing this for 30 minutes. 100K tournament. Happy Halloween. Ba 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 34 players, 29 pay. Oof, the antis are fucking salty. Those are salty antis. Damn. 500 small blind, 1,000 big blind, and $150 antis. Ouch. That is some, that's a hefty. If you're in a game, boy. I've never got first place in this game. It's never happened. And, uh, I don't know if tonight's the night. No, no one got knocked out. That's a bummer. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we're cooling off. Okay, we're very close to the bubble. 31 players, 29. 29. I gotta say, I'm very proud of myself. It looks like we're gonna be making the money. So that's nice. So making money on a big tournament, multi tables. How do how many plays we start with? Like almost two hundred players. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, Casey, I'm with you. I am with you. There's not much movement going on in those streams. Oh, st stable activity. So four tables left. The question now, actually, where's the big blind? I got one more until I'm the big blind. So, oh, fuck, man. This guy was down to 100 now. Fucking A. Okay, we're shuffling tables up here. 31 players. 31 players. Okay, we're folding this puppy. I got one more ride. 150 bleeder. Until I'm a big line. Let's hope someone gets knocked out. Dun 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 I owe you? What do I owe you guys? What do I be owing you guys? Uh, I kind of want to play. I kind of want to play. But I'm just like so close to the money. I don't want to be that guy. I'll take my chances on the... Watch, I'll, I'll get the nut on the flop. Watch. I'll nut on the flop. Here it comes. Wow, a lot of folds. People are so afraid. The bubble's right there. If I was this guy, I would raise, man. Your first place, you got all those chips. Oh my god. My goodness. My goodness. Like, what is the what are the chances of this shit? I've never seen anything fucking like this. Never. Oh, oh my god. I have never ever seen anything like this. Now I get queen three. 
I just want to get to that money. <laughs> I just want to get to that fucking money. Look at this guy going all in. Bro. Bro. Alright, so I'm in the money, baby. I'm in the money. Now I'm ready. I'm ready for carnage. Alright, here we go. The carnage is coming. Ready? Incoming carnage. I'm gonna make a fucking power move. This guy goes all in. Whoa. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're all in the money. Might as well make a power move. I'm gonna lose. I'm out. I'm done. Sevens, ace, and fives. Can the luck hit me? Oh, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I wanted the trip fives. 136,700. Let's go, baby. Uh, it's crazy, man. When I was in, wasn't the right time. When I was out, was the right time. It was just like one of those situations, but we made the money. We're over a million in Chipperuskis over here. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Holy smokes. Hit the money. Okay. Million on chips. All right. I'm going to take a, uh, a whiz. And uh, I'll play... Let's see, it's 10. All right, I'm going to play a little sit and go action. I'm um, just messing with you. I've been here since uh, before they hit 25K. Almost two. Dana White gives 250 to Kyle from Nelk Boys with set up a uh, cool B money. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Stand by. I will be right back after a quick urination break. Coffee is going right through me. So a lot of things happened tonight. I told some crazy stories in the beginning about <laughs> getting into uh, very tense situations at a punk pumpkin patch. A um, lot, a lot of crazy stuff tonight. Got some skull caps coming in certain directions to people in the chat, courtesy of uh, Savage, a Savage drunk. So. Let's see what we got when this city can go over here. A lot of stuff happening. Broke the milli point. Broke the milli point, which is nice. What's stage four? Buy in one million. Oh, I don't have the cash for that. Like, let's chill. So it's a 800K. Ah, oh, that's scary, man. Oh, it's 250 to get in. Okay, so this is buy in one million. So 250K. I could buy into that. We'll get into this puppy. Let's see what this is about. All right, $250,000 to enter this game. A little risky. A little risky going on over here. So we got to play smart. Let's 
Ah, no phone calls tonight. No phone calls. We're just chilling. Just chilling over here. Okay. Get an ace on a big blind. Let's go. Oh, Silver Carl's here. Fuck. <laughs> Silver Carl's here. <laughs> well, he sees my hand. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, here we go. Hold on, let's do this. <laughs> go. There goes that. Uh, all right, I feel good. I feel good with my ace. I feel strong. I feel strong with my ace. I'm going to win this hand. Ah, oh, fuck. I feel like he bet with the three. So I'm going to call. Nope, king comes out. Let's see if he still bets. Well, unless he had a jack. Let's see what he goes with this. Fuck. Can't do it. Good betting. Smart betting. Oh, God, I, I got into one early. All right, Silver Carl. I got to cover my hands. I can't show you what I got here. Too much on the line. All righty. Let's call this. So you can't see. Oh, okay. I hit on something here. All right, I'll wait it out. Let's see. We'll wait it out. Oh, right, Silver Carl's out. So let's do this. I'll show you guys. Got a flush draw here. Oh, come on, man. Give me the flush. If it's a small bet, I'll stay in. I should have just I should have just raised. God damn, man. I fucking missed on everything. All that red and I couldn't get a diamond. King high? At a girl? King high. Wow. Amazing. Okay, let's throw her over there. Alright, we'll fold this. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so we got Sober Carl in the game. So I had to I had to hide the cards. Actually I could I can't show the cards because he's still in, he's still playing. So that's unfair. That wouldn't be fair to Mr. Carl. <laughs> I don't care about the poker game. <laughs> that's alright. That's alright. We'll play fair and square. He won! Sober Carl got the job done. He got it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. A nah. Cat fold. So we'll call us the big blind. And Geox is the small blind. Okay. How the heck you know what they are betting with, Masa? Uh, wait, duh. You're mystical. Well, I sober's in the game. So I could see. I could see what they're betting. If, that, if that's what you're talking about. Oh. Uh, it's not bad off blind. I'm going to fold it anyway. So 40 40. Whoa, he's small. He folds the small blind. Okay. So I actually folded this. And missed on the. Oh, he might he probably hit the wrong button. Silver Carl, did you hit the wrong button? Oh, the, the ace probably would have won. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, ace nine. I, I think I would have lost. Because of the high card. Okay, I'm a big blind. We have one call off, two calls off. Let's see what Carl does. And he folds. All right, and I will check. I got a shit hand. I got a really shitty hand. I could have used a shitty flop. Okay, no one hit. Oh, come on, man. Everything but what I got in my hand. Someone's got a bet, no? Where is it? Where's it come? Nothing? Slow play? What the? F a lot of pairs on the board. Well, I should have just like went all in. Queen Jack. Wow, yeah, I should have went all in. I should have made a ballsy move there. Small blind. Call off. Let's see what Sober does. He's got a free play, so he passes. I'll call the extra 30. Let's see what big blind does. He checks. We got four players over here. I'll check. Yeah, I'll show you what I got. Since uh, Carl's not in the game. 
Okay, checks around. And here we go again. I mean, I should bet. High card looks good. Yeah, there it is. You know, like, high card looks good. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm too much of a puss. Yeah, I probably, I probably would do fine. High card, like, if you have an ace, you're fucking golden. But I feel like my card's too low. The queen. Oh, damn, bro. Good fold. Good fucking fold. Good fold. Damn. That would have got ugly. I'm out of this one. <laughs> damn. All right, I got to win a hand. Oh, my God. If you see why I just fucking fo folded. <laughs> Look what I folded. Look what I folded over here. I was just so scared. I was so scared I fucking folded the trips. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Da 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 But I'm gonna stick to the plan. Sorry, Mas, I meant to, uh, I meant like, uh, when you said he's probably going with a third or a three or a jack. Oh, I can't remember. All right, this, this hand did me no good. Here we go, Carl's, he's firing away. This could be a big hand for Carl. This guy's very aggressive, though. This guy dogs. He's gonna bet. Yeah. He's very, Carl, quick call. So there could be a flush on the board. Oh, they both check. What the fuck? Nice. Oh, Carl burns him. Burns him. Yeah, I don't know what this guy was. This guy was betting on nonsense. Good job by Carl. This guy dogs. He just likes to. He likes to play. A twenty-five dollar donation. What? Here comes the Let's go. Come on, Savage Drunk, going crazy. The Hearns. Here comes. He's coming on the Hearns. My God! Here comes. Here comes. The Here comes the hurt. Here comes the hurt. Thank you very much, Savage Drunk. Come on. What does he got to say, Savage Drunk? It's me, and both of you know it is. It's me and both you. I don't know what that means, but yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for the $25 donation. Appreciate I got to win a hand here. I'm doing really bad. I'm doing real lousy in this game. Thank you so much, man. Savage Drunk dropping another one. 25 bucks. This guy, very aggressive. Oh, we got an all-in. We got some action. There's a fold. Let's see. If, oh, aggressive calls. Here we go. King 10, ace, queen, hearts. Oh, see you later. Oh, gets closer here. Uh, it's over. We got a first person out of the game. Geox. Thank you so much, Savage Drunk. Appreciate that. You are absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. I got to fire away with this. I got to fire away. Oh, I should have did higher. I got to fire away with this thing. All right. I had, I had sevens. I had a pair of sevens over there. I showed the people. Had sevens. Just had to fire away. It was a, it was a tight, it's a tight hand. Here comes the Hearns. Let's see what this guy does over here. He might do a power move. Nope. Just calls. All right. Here we go. Mm, let's see. All right. We're calling. I might get out. I might get knocked out here. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm done. That's it. Fuck. Good luck, Carl. Good luck. I had to make a power move. Damn, man. That was I played that bad. That game's just not not my game. All right, Carl. I hope you get the job done. Carl's one away from the money over there, so good luck to sober Carl. Let me jump into another one here. I can't fucking can't go out like that. That was that was number one boy shit. Number one boy shit. Oh fuck. 
Just didn't get the hands that I wanted. It was a good, good bet by that guy. He had the top pair. Worked out nice. All right, we're going to try this again. Hope, uh, let me know how you do, Sober Carl. One away from the money over there, so hopefully you get the dub. So we made the money on a big tournament. Sat on a small tournament, not so much. But I can show you guys the cards now, so that's good. I can show you guys the cards. We'll see how this one goes. So shout out to Savage Drunk. Savage Drunk, are you drunk? Are you are you hitting the bottle tonight? What's going on, man? Partying on a Tuesday night? Are you intoxicated? I like that song, man. Here comes the herns. Here comes the herns. Might get a flush. I got a pair on there. High score. Yeah, now I get the flush. Nope, no flush. Dun 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 dun. Nah, keep playing, man. Get that moolah. Get that money. Get that money. Ace ten on a big blind. I love. Whoa. Pump the brakes, bro. Pump the brakes. What kind of pocket pair do you have? Oh, you're done. I just bet this. Cool. Okay. Nah. Only. Should should have went lower. I should bet lower. I should have bet lower. Silly me. This guy's gonna be on tilt now with 4:30. He's probably gonna fire in with a. Uh, oh, maybe not. Low pair. Th four players. Let's see if we can get checks around. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, right? It's only 80, so you probably de definitely got me beat. All right, let's see what we got. Very low pair. If you bet low, you'll keep me in. Man, like every card out there beats me. <sighs> good bet. It's a good bet. You know what? I'm, it's not even worth my 120. I have a feeling... Yeah, good fold. Good fold. Good fucking fold. He had two pair. He was trying to... Very nice bet. Just couldn't get me, man. Good, good fold. High score king. Yeah. Here comes the herds. I think he might have had a beer. Let's try to get the let's try to get the money in this one here. Probably would have won this one. Fire in the hole. Donaldo. Two pairs. I would have won. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. All right. So what else is going on tonight? Deep into the evening. Playing another poker game. Just sitting and chilling. What are we doing? What are we doing? Pig bat foley. High score king. I would bet more, but that's a sin in my belief. Like real money. Fold. Fold it up. Or later in the AM. Yeah, it's 1022 here. What time is it by you guys? What's the time at? Tuesday evening. Tuesday evening. We're playing with a rabbit, lady, and two men, two gentlemen, two Caucasians. Actually, three Caucasians are at the table. Four, including me, Fred Flintstone. 120 a.m. Damn, you guys are hardcore. You guys are fucking hardcore, baby. I like it. I like the hardcoreness. Give me the clubs. I got a pair and a club. I hate hitting these low pairs. I guess it's better than nothing, right? I 
feel like I got the best hand. I bet like I had the four. Ah, oh, the jack burns me. Jack burns me. Don't have a jack. Don't have a jack. Don't have a jack. Don't have a jack. You fucking cunt! Oh, I can't call. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh yeah, trip nines. Fuck, good thing I folded. Well, I'm going all in. Fuck me. I gotta go on. I have no choice. Damn. Son of a bitch. Boy, that guy set me up. He had him in the hole. All right, they're gonna think I'm on tilt. I mean, I got it. Oh, you're calling. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. You probably tripped up with kings. This guy probably tripped up with kings. What do you got? Oh, for fuck's sake. He had... He had him in the hole again. Second hand in a row where he had him in the hole. What? I went from ridiculously lucky to playing a guy that had trips twice in the hole. Back to back. All right, one more. <laughs> the fucking luck is just nosediving right now. Oh, my God. That's brutal, man. He had him in the hole twice. Damn. Fives in the hand, one on the board, tripping up. Boy, that's crazy. Tw two in a row? That's nuts. All right, well, I went from a million chips down to 200K. We got to win here. We got we to gotta win this one. We need a little bit of luck here. A little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Come on. Fuck. Back to back, Kev. Like, what the? F Look, come on with this shit. Why did I call? All right, let's get lucky. Oh my God, that's crazy. What am I doing? Why am I even playing? <laughs> this is nuts. This is fucking nuts. Like, nah, nah, nah. Just get out of here. Just get, get me out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. These lunatics. <laughs> These fucking lunatics. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god. Come on. Come on. They fucking split. And I, if I would have stayed in there, I would have been done. I would have been dead. Oh my god. I gotta I gotta pack it up. Talk about a bad run. I gotta pack my shit up. Lick my wounds. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's going on? So if I can get first place here, which I'm probably not, but if I could, I'll get myself right back in the picture. I'll be up. But I got some work to do. I can't believe that. <clears throat> All righty. Stop raising. Stop it. Raising pre-flop bastard. If, we, if this guy calls, to, all right, I'm out. Get me out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. Play with yourselves. Go play with yourselves. Go knock each other out. Bet away. Don't be checking. Don't be playing it safe. There you go. Out of girl. Mahorn. Mahorn. Go ahead. Bet away. <laughs> guys. You suck. I fucking hate you guys. I hate you guys. I legit hate you guys. Please have a better hand than me. They had a better hand than me. Thank God. Thank God. Here comes the Hearns. The high score king. Like they're playing like like these other people, like, are we gonna check? Are you gonna keep betting? You fucking suck. Like, this guy sucks. Like, he just wants to keep it popping here. Do you have a pocket pair? Like, what do you got? All right, you know what? Fuck off. Fuck all of you. That's it. Fuck all of you. I hate you all. Just all die. Just die. You fucking cunt. I hate you. I hate all of you. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, he's got fucking sixes. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Come out. Oh, there goes that. All right, guys. We can do one more thing here. We can take a gamble, like all gambles. We can go crazy over here. If I go in another 250, I could be like to zero. Let's go. Let's go for it. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go broke. Let's go fucking broke, baby. We're going broke back mountain right now. I mean, how unlucky can we possibly be? You know? Let's see what the fuck's going on here. How, I mean, how unlucky could we possibly be? That, I mean, that wasn't a bad beat. That was just me getting, being stupid. That was me being a stunade. Me being a little, a little bit of a stunade, you know what I'm saying? Fucking A, man. That's crazy. If we're going to go big or go home, we are literally down to $12,000. We went from <laughs> being over the million mark. <laughs> this degenerate gambling 101 going on right now. Degenerate gambling. One, we just lost a million dollars. If it, if it doesn't, if we don't get in the money. Jeez. Crazy. Let <laughs> Jesse hold the mic, right? <laughs> imagine, imagine I had a million dollars and I just fucking burn it all down. Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty bad. That'd be pretty bad. So kids, don't gamble. Do not gamble. Fuck, what a bad run. Bad run. We are on a uh, big tournament. Get into the money. And then on these tables, just got burnt down to the ground. But we are playing high stakes. Well, for what I have. I should be playing like smaller tournaments. That's the smarter way to go. But I'm like playing 250k buy-in tournaments. Shouldn't be doing that. Should be doing like the smaller tournaments. Just keep on chipping away. Winning those. But I'm getting too greedy. Damn. Already someone's out. Damn. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? This guy already doubled up right off the bat. Sure, keeping it honest. Give me like three nines. Might as well just bet us out of this one. Go ahead, you got the fucking cash. Go for it, baby. Easy. Easy. 3.2 million. Jesus Christ. Pretty damn good there, Carl. High score king. Ah, why did I call that raise? I don't even know. Watch this guy go all in. Okay. All right, I'm going to check. Watch this. Set the trap. Okay. Oh, I got a, I got a pair of nines. Just bet the pot. I don't fucking know. Oh, fuck. You guys aren't supposed to fold. Dude, it's a small ass bet. Just call, bro. Call. Oh, you fucking cunts. God, it's a slow ass bet. Like, what? I had to wait to the river to bet? Like, what the? Damn. No one bit? Small ass bet. These guys can play tight. Here comes the herds. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. What the fuck? Who's in the Discord as the knitter? I kind of want to call this. Just for the hell of it, let's see what we got going on with this. Who's in the chat is the knitter? He says, one real call. Avatar 2 will be amazing. Why did I call this? I should just bet on it because it seems like... Now it's too late. Someone probably hit the queen. 
Yeah. Avatar 2 will be amazing. The knitter. Someone's a, there's a fake knitter. Oh, he's 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 you too. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. It's like, how the hell? All right. In order to get your beanie, you you're gonna have to show us some proof of the donations because, um, but the knitter and uh, NH and Mike H will get the beanie. But I just want to make sure Connor sends us like a DM or an email. Of how am I in this game? Was I a big blind? I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I'm a big blind. Okay. Of your Streamlabs uh, thing. I don't want to chase this guy out, but. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just going to bet it. Just see if you go all in. Yeah, you weren't going to go because you were. I'm sorry. You were wounded. I had to make that bet. I'm sorry. I had to steal it. Sorry, bud. Beware of the taco. It's raining tacos. Ace. Eight, three, four. I think someone's got a bet. Probably Daewoo. Isn't, isn't that like a brand, an electronics brand? No Daewoo bet? Mm. My ace is going to win. Fuck. What did you have? Did you fucking bluff me? They didn't show their cards. I tried to bet to steal it with the ace high, with the fours out there. He probably had trip fours or something. I gotta watch this this creep next to me. Outplayed me. <laughs> then I get a pair of aces now. Fuck off. It's raining tacos. Oh, okay, you put it in there? Alright, hold on. After the stream, just hit me in the DMs with that, with that screenshot, so I can verify that. It looks like he put in the, um... Oh, fuck, he put in the... Oh, my God. I just realized. Alright, um... You have to slide into my DM and send that. Oh my god. He put in the regular fucking thing. Slide slide into the DM and send that to me. I'll tell you why in the DMs. <laughs> oh man. What am I doing? This guy raised. I'm gonna be out. I'm so fucking distracted. Fuck it. Let's just Oh, the clubs are gonna get me, but fuck it. I don't even give a fuck anymore. Good. Let's go. Course. You what do you have? A club? What do you have? What the fuck you have? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is legit the worst. This is like the worst luck I've ever had. The worst, the worst luck you can possibly have ever. <laughs> the worst ever luck you could ever have in this game. I had it right there. Alright, so let's let me um do some damage control with this. Here, let me message. Okay, let's try to... Alright, so I DM'd... I DM'd the knitter. <laughs> I <laughs> the knitter I uh, I DM'd you, so just respond to that. Um, did he drop his phone number in there? Oh my god, this guy I think is really drunk. Are you still in the chat, Connor? Great googly muggly. Okay, got rid of that. 
How you doing? Uh, Ethiopian, how's it going, man? Hope you're well. I, I, there's so much, I'm just, I'm backed up on, um, what's going on. There's just so much gibberish. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. I know to tell me about a car. I did horrible. Bad run, bad run. Bad run. Not my best performance. Just give me a second here. I'm just trying to save some stuff. Okay. Downloads. Here we go. Downloads. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where is it? What did I download that to? Uh, it's raining tacos. All right. So, Connor, I sent you the DM. So, I will wait for your information in the DM section. I think he might have passed out. We are very close. Yes. Very, very close. All right, so if Connor did not, or Conrad did not uh, pass out, shoot us a message in the DMs. I sent you one. Um, I have a feeling he was really drunk. Can I trust Ethiopian with anything? I place uh, a place to sleep, money borrowing, baby. Yeah, he's very reliable. One of the more reliable people in the chat for sure. Um, okay. I went from, I successfully took a million dollars and turned it into 12K. Let's go, boys. Let's go. That is pristine. That's pristine poker playing right there. At its finest. I definitely uh, did perfect. Uh, perf I had show ex exhibited perfection in my playing. But um, so Conrad, let's get that taken care of. And H, we will uh, talk to you and Mike H. And um, actually, we'll send you Ann and Mike a DM right when I shut this thing down. I want to thank everyone for stopping in tonight. A little bit of confusion at the end here. We'll get it all sorted out. And uh, we will see you tomorrow with Christine Ferreira, BKFC champion on the MMA holes. That's right. Okay, we'll see you. We'll see you guys. Peace. Peace and love. Peace and love. Bam. Bum 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 b